still don't have a fan. Also don't have my fan. Ooh. Well, isn't this very globally inclusive today? Both with the cast and actually with Period. the panel, which I, I'm not mad at. But <laughs> hello, hello, hello. I'm not doing hello in all of the languages people are speaking from this Please series. Don't. I'm not doing that. So I'm just going to say hello, hello, hello. Welcome to The Cup, the currently unnamed podcast, where we put the real and the tea in reality. And you can always come to us first to quench your thirst. I'm Logan Murphy. Say something gay. Gay. Uh, today, yeah. you'll catch on. You'll catch on. Will yeah, there's 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 hand movements. It's a whole process. Um, <laughs> I'm drinking some raspberry lemonade today uh, because it sounded good and I wanted to drink it. Um, so that's that. If I was drinking something else out of a different vessel, though, of course it would be maybe potentially out of a cup mug. Um, cup which mug. Da -na -na -na. Cup we don't have a. Da -na -na. Mm. There's only two of us. It's fine. Um, you can but you can get sure, whatever. You can get your uh, cup mug and all of our other merch at lanajcreations.etsy.com. That link is in the description below. We do ship domestically and internationally, all around the world, globally, if you will. So there are no excuses. Period. Yeah. In the words of someone very, very wise. Hello. My name is Sloan Stone. I am Tampa's Galaxy Gamer Girl. Uh, and um, I just finished bread juice. So now I'm drinking water out of my cup mug. Da -na 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 -na. Hi, everyone. I am River, your Brazilian correspondent here on the cup. Today I am drinking some tea because my heater broke. So I'm trying to keep warm. And I chose my one of my largest mugs because... Um, I need to keep hydrated. So, yes. Smelly cat, smelly cat. No, well, copyright. Okay. Oh. Hi, everyone. I'm Eduardo. I'm the Mexican representative of this podcast. I'm here to talk shit and get hit. Uh, today, I'm just drinking water because we need to stay hydrated and I'm constantly dehydrated. So, we need to figure that out. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> Relatable. And uh, who the hell are you? <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Roberto Esteban Julio Ricardo Montoya de la Rosa Ramirez, but you may call me Robbie for short. I am a Drag Race X Pokemon crossover video person on the YouTube. Uh, I make Pokemon videos, uh, but I also uh, give queens from RuPaul's Drag Race uh, Pokemon teams because I love both niches and I wanted to combine them. Very Yay! Good also, so you don't have to be rude to me. Excuse you. <laughs> how very dare you? Is this how you treat your guests? I'm not usually. That's just Dawn. But you know that. Um, <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> wow. I invited you on this podcast. I can take you off. I no, can't. you can't, no, bitch. We can take you off. Anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, I can. No, can we not? Can we the not? Today? Today. This yeah. is her revenge after I rigged <laughs> my game. Here, yeah. okay, let, let me get through the intro before we start being incredibly off hint, uh, unhinged. Robbie, thank you so much for joining us for this video. We're so beyond happy to have you today because it's finally here, everyone. We're talking about Global All Star. Thank we God. Won. Yeah. We won. <laughs> we... The Olympics are officially here. Who cares about the Paris Olympics? I care about the Olympics of drag. Nobody's going to be. I, I will be watching gymnastics. Don't get me wrong. Oh, trust and believe we will be watching gymna women's gymnastics. All right. We will be watching uh, gymnastics together. I might yes. be watching tennis. If Me too. my Puerto Rican representative is there. Yes, God. Yes, God. This is yes, not an Olympics Monica. podcast today. Yes, today. yes, God. Coming. Iconic. Legendary. She's she's incredible. Um, I do actually know who you're talking about, and I'm not just... Yeah, I got you. Um, but we're super excited uh, to have Robbie here today, to have everyone here to talk about Global All-Stars. It's here. We have a promo. We're very excited. 
12 countries represented, should be 15, but 12 countries represented um, on this occasion. Well, actually, technically more than 12, because some of these girls are from different countries. We'll talk about it. Um, Almost every continent. Except Almost. for Antarctica, I believe. In Africa. And Africa. Right? In Africa. Oh, Africa. Uh, That's why I said yeah. almost, like we're missing two, but still. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. So regardless, we're going to dive into this gorgeous, lovely, and wonderful cast. Before we do, make sure to subscribe if you've not already, because we're here almost all the time giving you almost all things drag. And that currently means a lot, because there's a lot of drag. There's a lot of drag race. There's so much drag race. Uh, but we're here covering all of it, giving you almost all things that we can. Um, make sure to check out the description below for mostly the link to Robbie's YouTube channel. Please, please go check Robbie out. Uh, as a big fan myself, I'm very excited. Um, if you are gay, period, uh, go subscribe to Robbie. Um, that's about all. You can also subscribe to us, and we would greatly appreciate it. Uh, you can also find all of our other YouTube channels in the description below, as well as our audio podcast links, and where you can find us on Patreon for exclusive content and early access to a lot of our content, including early access to the Look Over Here episodes for all of the current Drag Race franchises that we are covering. So, extra things. Um, with that being said, let us slide to the side while we talk about this promo, Muma. Look at these iconic. Look Girl. at the look at these chickens. <laughs> look at all these drag queens. Look I all those. I have to say, this is definitely up there for top promos of the year for me so far. Oh, absolutely. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone for me is going to beat Philippines and All Stars Nine. But this one's yeah. pretty good. It's really good. Oh yeah, I like the theme. Top three, make I might say, so mm -hmm. far. Top three. I'm I gonna say, say top four. I will say, in terms of uh, graphic design, I do not like the logo font that they chose for Global. I don't either. Really like the it's the font is fine, but like the positioning is a little too long. I need Global yeah. up here, and then All Stars right below. You're what so is it with gays and fonts? So I don't mind the font. Is that Girl, just I'm me? a graphic designer. I study well, this. I went to school for Honey, that. I, did I, know. I so didn't go to fucking learning. school for math. And we can tell. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I went for technical <laughs> communication. <laughs> um, so I can technically communicate that you're a bitch, Rob. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you ate that. You totally <laughs> ate that. Just like you ate those I snacks I almost last spat night. out my dream. <laughs> Robbie? Robbie. We thought Robbie was going to be up too, in Mama. <laughs> Oh, honey, the <laughs> only snack I ate last night was your dad. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. So the library is officially open? Oh, open. that was too good. I oh, my God. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Oh, I had too much gear be for this. I'm going to another one. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I think the overall promo is cute. I mean, obviously having uh, duh, Alyssa in the middle, I'm not surprised at all. I mean, um, it was it was edited by a U.S. person, so of course they put themselves in the middle. Like, but also it we is know a how it is. Plus show, so the yeah expected audience will be American audiences. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, all the English speaking. It makes sense. I'm not mad at it. It just very. Yeah. yeah. But yes, I think overall it's a it's a it's a good promo. I do like it's that good... they uh are doing this um theme during this time, like mm -hmm. kind of doing like in uh in the same time at the, at the, as the uh actual Olympics is just perfect. And honestly, and, mm, if they kept this every two or four years, I would be so down. Oh yeah, like every four like years. If, every four years. Or if you if you wanted to do every two, I think that's possible. Like with the Winter Olympics as well. So do like a winter season for it. I think that yeah. like I I'm I'm not mad at an every four year. I just think after we see this season, I think we're gonna want to see more. 
It's just yeah. all I'm thinking, honestly, but... But with all um, of the other, like, versus the world and all of that, I wouldn't like to have a global all-stars every year. Oh, like, no, I agree with Two that. years would be fine. Especially Maybe having... alternate alternate between global and, like, an all-winners or something. Like, instead mm -hmm. of, like, mm -hmm. um, every two years, we do either an all-winners or a global. Like, I don't mind that. Mm -hmm. I mean, right now it's every two years for versus the worlds, it seems, and every year and a half, if not, yeah. for Canada. So I'm not too mad at it. Um, I mean, I think it would be more special if it was every four years. I like, agree with that. I agree. Like, yes, the Winter yeah. Olympics are... But knowing well... Uh... Like, if it makes the money, it makes the money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At the end of if the day. If this season goes better than they expect, they're probably going to do another one, like, pretty soon. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, I see that happening. <laughs> well, let's dive in to the girls, the divas, mm -hmm. and of course, alphabetically, first up, right off the bat, always and forever, Alyssa oh. Edwards. Eduardo, give us your thoughts on Alyssa. Obviously, we all know Alyssa. Everybody yeah, knows Alyssa. Alyssa. She literally said in the Meet the Queens, if you're if you've been living under a rock, which yeah. Um, but yeah, start us off, Eduardo. What do you think yes. of Miss Alyssa? I mean, Alyssa is an absolute icon, and I think everybody loves her. I don't think there's like I think at this point Alyssa has no haters. And if she does, what the fuck are you doing? Um, and she looks incredible. I love that she's really showing us her new like the evolution of her drag. I love the hair. I love everything about it. She's great. Love her. 10 out of 10. Incredible. Love her. Love Alyssa. Love Pink. Love Pink. Love, love Pink. pink. Love I'm going to go ahead and say right now, drink every time we say love Pink in this love video. It'll happen a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to take a sip of my definitely bread juice. <laughs> in a mug. Work bread juice. I genuinely believe this was a deliberate choice because Alyssa's name starts with an A, A-L, and then they put everybody else after. Because it's a global all-stars, and Alyssa is such a household name in the world of RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah. Truly an intentional choice. Also, universally loved. Uh, dancing diva. Like, we, everybody knows her. Like, it's... If Alyssa has no fans, it's because I'm dead. Valid. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think I agree. It was a very like deliberate choice. And I think choosing a person, a queen, that has been in two of the most iconic seasons of U.S. Drag Race was a very good choice. Uh, I think her um, her being there is, of course, to bring in, bring in um, the main audience. Um, but also, she's just great TV no matter what she's doing. Mm -hmm. So, like, she's going to give good drag and she's going to give good, like, reality TV. Uh, and I can just say that I'm so excited to see how um, her personality is going to mash up with all of the other queens and different cultures and all of that. How she's going to react to kind of, like, being around uh, so many different... I don't... I don't I don't, it's, it's not supposed to be shady. I'm just saying, cause, um, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I'm not, I don't know if she's going to be shady per, like on purpose or if she's going to be confused or I don't know. Mm. I expect anything and everything. And that's why I'm excited to see her. And I'm excited, especially for the memes. Oh, girl, girl, right? girl. So many, the so many new girl. girl. I mean, this season was going to be iconic no matter what, but like her being there is just going to bring us so many moments that we wouldn't have if she wasn't here. You know, and she looks um, great, but that's, I mean, I don't have to say that. Personally, I would like to say I think Alyssa Edwards is the reason we have this season. And the reason I say that is because in a Roscoe's interview two years ago for UK versus the world season one, yeah, mm -hmm. she mm -hmm. they said, would you ever do UK versus the world? And she goes, well, you know, I would do America versus the world. And then if they would do America, I would be interested. And you know what? She said, okay. 
they said, yes, we will make that happen just for you. And I truly believe that they did. Um, in terms of this outfit, I think it's really fun how like she got to incorporate the red, white, and blue one in her heels, but also in her makeup using the eyes and the lips as the red and the blue and the bottom of the heels as the red and the blue. I think that's so fun. I really like this outfit. I think it's stunning. Hair's not my favorite. I think it's very well sculpted. I'm just tired of these wigs. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the stars that she's like, I don't know what uh, sport it is. But like the, Gymnastics. It's a, Gymnastics. Yeah, it's the, it's the like the... Um, it's the rain. Like, thank you. Yeah. So it, it's so interesting. That's what I was gonna bring up because everyone kind of has a an, a, a a sport themed prop, and I think that's a really nice addition to the whole thing. Um, I'm confused why it's rings, which are a male gymnastics sport exclusively. Well, you know what her secret is. <laughs> She's got a it's secret. A Have you heard her man? Secret. She's got. A it's a list secret. secret. Um, but no, I would have loved, honest to God, I would have loved Alyssa just, um, just posing on the vault stand. I see that. Like, person. just, like, casually, just, like, bunty YouTube. I'm not saying a bad word. But um, just <laughs> buntily, buntily, uh, serving on, like, a vault, or even on the beam. Just on a balance mm -hmm. beam. Like, that would have been fun. You're but not we're going like the leg up. Too. Well, um, I would have loved if she was on those are real the real legs, vault, and then just sitting like. That's like, what I want. That's that's what I'm saying. That's what I want. That's what she's I want. like. I'm not doing gymnastics. Uh, I'm just here doing a damn split nice on the vault. She would. Um, I mean, I. There are a couple of other people that I think I could have considered for this spot on this season, <laughs> but I don't think anyone is really going to encompass what U.S. drag has been on Drag Race more than Detox. Alyssa. I could see Detox. Detox is, Maybe. There, are three, there are three people I had in mind. Mm -hmm. And it's Alyssa, uh, Detox, and Kennedy Davenport. Kennedy Davenport's already on TV right now again. Because yeah. uh, allegedly she was the other person they were looking at to fill this spot. She was in regular All-Stars. For All-Stars 9. That's where she was supposed to be. Oh, was she really? That's, she was yeah, the alternate she said for it All Stars on Roscoe's, right? Yeah, for Roscoe's. Yeah. Oh, Tia, I didn't hear that. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, I love Alyssa. I think this promo is, is maybe, like, not. it's not my favorite Alyssa promo of all time. Uh, I think it's good. I think she looks good. Mm -hmm. I like the wig, but I do agree with you, Dawn. It's a little, like, I, I, want, to, I want to see something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. The garment is gorgeous because it's Alyssa and the garment's always going to be gorgeous. And I do agree. I love the pops of the blue eye and the red lip to bring in the full color scheme here. Mm -hmm. And I love that the rest of the look is monochromatic. Like I think it's very the shoes. intentional with the way that she did it. Other than the shoes. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a big fan of Alyssa. I'm a big fan of her. A lot of people have already said, oh, this season is set up for Alyssa Edwards to win. And that could be the case. And I do think Alyssa has a great shot at finally making a finale. Because she is one oh, of two queens on this her. season to never, well, that's just tea. She is one of two queens to never make a finale on this season. Everyone else is a finalist. So it's just kind of like- she was a lovely fifth alternate. Fourth alternate. And now she's a lovely fourth well, alternate. Five. Well, yeah. Um, but no, I love Alyssa. I'm so happy she's here. So Sorry, no, no. Now she's the lovely Fourth alternate. There you go. We gotta we gotta count in the space in front of. She us. counted her yeah. top in the mirror twice. Scores for Alyssa because we must uh, we must move on. Okay, I'll just simply go with an eighty. I love her. Uh, seventy-eight. Pretty close. I'm like. I'm hearing your thoughts and I'm I'm agreeing. I'm just kind of tired of the same silhouette, having seen Fair. so many promos before her. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah, I give it an 82. I'm gonna give it a 90. River, we can't do this again. <laughs> I also gave her Already? An 82. Already. <laughs> well, we're yes. starting again. It's happening again. We're sharing the brain cell again. 
Next up from a season I know none of y'all watched. This is Athena Leakey's from Drag Race Bell Sheet season one. Um, let me give y'all the tea on Miss Athena before we dive in, because I know I'm the only person who watched. First and foremost, I love her. I'm thrilled she's here. Um, so she is the runner-up from the first season of Dark Race Belgique. Uh, she won two maxi challenges on her season. Um, her aesthetic, like she said in the Meet the Queens, is very kind of punk, rock star, kind of alternative, which is a lot of what Belgian drag is. So I think, honestly, for me, there are a couple of other people, and at the time, they only had the one season to go off of. I would have picked probably someone from season two had they been had they already filmed um but of the season one queens that were available to be chosen i think athena is one of the best choices that they could have made yeah Um, who's the actual best then if you said one of name them name Um, them honestly i think susan from grinder would have been great on this cast i won't lie to you What about Amanda Tears, Logan? That's her name? No. What about Amanda? Yeah, there is a, there's a queen on season one of Belgium. I love that. She, unfortunately, so she was, unfortunately, similar to Jan and Britta, she was only able to go to buy Susan on the show. But her oh, drag that's name also is funny. Her grinder. Yeah, her like, grinder. My drag name is Susan. Period. Literally. Literally. Susan. Um, but, yeah, she, but yeah, she's Susan from Grinder. I think Susan could have been really cute here. Um, I would have picked a season two queen had I had, you know, all the choices. Because I probably would have picked um, Chloe, friend of the pod. Chloe Clark. Work. So go check out our interview with most of the top five of Drag Race Belgique. Okay, well, I'm going to start by saying I did watch Athena's um, talent show when it first came out. She is funny. She is a funny girl. And I love this type of aesthetic. I am a sucker for punk, rocky looking girls. I love punk rock. I love every, like, this aesthetic is just everything that gives me life. This promo is, I'm going to be honest, it's not my absolute favorite, especially with the high caliber that we have in with the other uh, looks, it's definitely not the one that I would pick, but I definitely still like it because it's still the aesthetic that I like. I'm very excited to see her. I'm getting, I'm really excited to get to know her. Um, she's gorge, gorge, gorge. She's one of the only girls that I think can pull off a no brow look. So she's killing it. Love her. <laughs> I, if some of y'all watching might have heard me say Belgian dark chocolate, and I'm gonna explain that because it's like, what the heck is he? What the heck is he saying? Because I'm already thinking in my head, how can I make this into a Drag Race Pokemon video? And you're saying like punk rock. I gave Gotmik uh, an electric type uh, specialty in my one of my videos, but someone was arguing that maybe she should have been a dark type because of her punk rockiness. And then I yeah. thought Belgian dark chocolate, I'm like dark type Pokemon, I'm like, we could mix it in there. Um, so that's me explaining that away so that people don't get confused later Her. on. <laughs> um, in terms of the promo, I was an athlete. I ran track in high school. So I don't understand what's going on here. I did hurdles. Crazy. I was mostly a sprinter. Genuinely do not know what's going on here. So I'm like a little confused by the promo. I like the colors. I'm also noticing a trend in the promos that they're using the colors of their it's flags. The colors of the flag. That was the, the, the that flag. was the that was the prompt right. for the promos. But I'm like, there's no yellow here. Not all <laughs> that doesn't have to be, but like, not yeah, all the accents. girls use. Wait, what? There, there are yellow accents, like the there's the like the little. Oh, Laces? there's a little bit of yellow. And yeah, a little yellow, bit on the yellow's boot. in the boot. Yeah, yellow's yeah. in the boot. You see, I'm very far away from my screen so that I can fit in this. Yeah, but there is box. like the tiniest bit. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Okay, but regardless, I am yes. quite confused about the promo because I ran track and kind of know like the only thing that I can see uh, is the the tight shorts making sense. Other than that, I don't really know. Why oh, exactly. I don't, I don't but. think the sport that they have is supposed to be directly correlating with the promo itself. Oh yeah. Because we're like, about to talk about I think, yeah, has I, think, I think they just have these things. I don't think it's, I don't think it's supposed to be like, the look is matching the sport. Are I don't think that. Because Pitina um, has fencing. 
Yes, and I understand. Maybe if from, the queen from, wanted from, to, from they in, matched them. From insider tea, I don't think it's supposed to be. I think they matched them up. Okay, then I won't. So be I wouldn't. I them. wouldn't directly correlate <laughs> the promo to the sport. I would correlate the promo to the country flag. That's what I would do. But it has to be but, like sports themed country flag, or like Olympic theme, like Olympics theme. Something I don't know. What? It feels no. like baseball. Yeah. 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 We're focusing on it a little too much. Anyway, the look is I great, but it's we're not overthinking it yeah. as impressive as everything else we're seeing here. Yeah. Um. I, yeah, I like I was saying, I don't I don't see the theme in this look, but I do think she looks great. I like this look. I just don't see how it relates to the theme. Um of course it does have like the uh the flag colors, which um they all do, but like other than that, I don't see it. Also, this is not her fault, but like production really didn't have to put those stars on the prop, like the cardboard stars. Because that just makes it look so cheap. Like that was not necessary, but that's not on her. The it's just production. Was not yeah. Designing. yeah, exactly. Uh, but she looks great. Her mug, uh, period. And uh, yeah, I said my favorite part is also like the shorts and like the bodysuit kind of thing that she has underneath. Um, and like it's more related to the theme. But um, again, because of the caliber of every other look and like the other queens. I just wish it was more. It's not a bad look, but I just wish it was more. You know what they could have um, done? I'm excited to get yeah. to know her. Yeah, I'm just excited to get to know her. That's all. What they could have done with the promo is how they have the rainbow arch and then it kind of goes into the bottom. Use that as the track in like track. Oh, yeah. the, the girdle yeah. in the middle. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But without the stars. Opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I'd, mm -hmm. I'd prefer that she was just running. But I then don't mind. This looks, it, it gives me more, like, constructed out of baseball gloves than it does track, in a way. Like, specifically, like, that body piece. I do like it. I like the accent of the metal heel. I think that's really fun. Um, um, the only thing I have an issue with is, that is actually her mug. Uh, I think she's gorgeous. I like her mug. But... If she's going to do a browless look, she better contour the hell out of that forehead. Because, like, right now it is giving a little bit forehead city. Um, and that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. But at the end of the day, like, you could have done a little bit more contouring up there to kind of give that, like, so, so that way it just doesn't have so much blank space up there. For me personally, if you're going to do a browless look, you have to have a little bit more contour. Um, and a little, or at least a little bit more of an eye shape. Because right now it almost kind of just looks like she's like browless with some eyeliner on and a little bit of brown on her crease. So I would have preferred a little bit more there. I do really like the lip shape. I like her contouring. I would have preferred a little bit darker in the jawline, or not the jawline, the cheekbone area here. Um, and maybe a little bit more blush. But she is very gorgeous. She doesn't need that much makeup in the first place. But yeah, no, um, Athena Likis, you are you're very pretty and I enjoy your hair. Love your hair. Hope you win. <laughs> yeah, I, I love Athena. Um, she actually had a name change that she talked about in the Meet the Queens um, because on her original season, um, her last name was Sorgelikis, um, referencing her drag mother who was also on the season with her. Um, I don't know why there's the name change, but I actually kind of like it a little bit better because um, Athena Sorgelikis is a little like bulky. Athena Likis. I'm like, that's cute. I like it. Um, I think it might be because of a pronunciation issue. So they'd probably. rather be more respectful and say her name yeah. properly yeah. than to butcher the whole thing every time. It, For RuPaul. Yeah, that, uh, or before yeah. RuPaul. We well, forget RuPaul things can, all the time. RuPaul could barely pronounce anything. Let's be real. <laughs> um, I, I do have to say, as much as I love Athena, she gave fashion on her original season uh, we're going to see fashion from her, and I'm excited about it. This is not one of my favorite promos, unfortunately. Um, for a lot of the same reasons y'all talked about, I do wish there was a little bit more yellow. Um, I like the coat, actually, the most of any of this, and it's only in the headshot and the full body. Um, I like the pose that we're going with the, with the hurdling, but I do agree with what you're saying about that, Robbie. 
Um, but overall, the hair is cute. The garment is fine. I'm not fundamentally upset uh, upset about it. So, yeah. Scores. I don't know how mean I want to be or how nice I'm going to be with this one. You've so had this see. whole time to figure out a score, Eduardo. No, I, what and, I'm thank you. About, what I'm thank talking you. about is I don't know how nice or mean. You don't got to feel bad. 55. So thank you, Robbie. <laughs> be okay. mean. Okay, so 62. I thought it was being mean. <laughs> No, because Robbie gave her 55. Yeah, it's chocolate. Oh, you did? oh, I thought you were, okay. Oh. Uh, I give it a 70. You it twice, Diva. I'm giving it a, I thought he was just saying that's the score that, the score that Eduardo should give. Um, no, that's mine. mine. <laughs> we not, I'm aware. None what of happened? these other bitches get it, but I understand. Robbie, what happened to Ertl? Um, Don, what's your score? <laughs> it is 72. Thank you. I'm giving her a 71. I'm trying to you keep these mess my people up. on check. I'm the Robbie, only non neuro spicy here. Robbie, do you know? Uh, you are correct in that. Um, you know how difficult it is for me to do this. So I, I see you and I appreciate you. <laughs> Next up, representing the Philippines, <laughs> it is Eva the Queen from season one of Drag Race Philippines, uh, finalist, third slash fourth, I believe. Um, and I also believe she is one of two people on this cast uh, coming in without a maxi challenge win ever. Oh, shocking. Yeah. The other one being my fave, but we'll talk about her later. We'll talk about um, her. But yes, Miss Eva the Queen. I mean, look at the material. She's I was going to say, bitch, gorgeous. look at the material. Um, She's gorgeous. Like, mm. The drag in Philippines is just so grand and so beautiful. Like, I don't know how anyone is going to top this in any way, shape, or form. She's just absolutely gorgeous. Everything about this is perfection. I love her. She's incredible. I immediately, not, I didn't watch Philippines 1, but immediately this makes me want to root for her. So I'm excited. Um, the headpiece. The headpiece. Girl. Mm. Girl. Love her. That's where I was going to start off with. The headpiece is just incredible. I could see in the Meet the Queens that it was probably very heavy because it was starting to lean forward, but it's it's just incredible. I do like that the outfit, obviously it's a dress, but it also kind of resembles those like boxing robes and she's like uh, doing, I can't, the camp's too small. The, what's this Wait, called? Thing? Yes, thank you. English, not my first language. It's also, on that topic, it's actually really funny. And some of these do correlate really specifically with the country, which I appreciate. Uh, the Philippines, I believe, has the last, like, four or five Olympic gold medals in weightlifting in both the men's and women's category. So, like, the in the same way that also um, U.S. Gymnast gymnastics is really, like, popular, I don't think Belgium is very popular for, you know, Olympic medals in track and field. I'm not sure. No, that would uh, be there's... countries in Africa, such as Ethiopia. And the U.S. Mm -hmm. But oh, I'm Jamaica. saying, there... and Jamaica. There's some correlations that I think are really fun. This is one of them. And I just thought it was really, really fun that, you know, she had. And this is a prop. This, this is, is a prop. This, prop is, this, prop. Is, this is it. Is prop. This, is, this is how you make weightlifting gay. No, yeah, she said. Absolutely. She really said, like, she's carrying that like a handbag. <laughs> a lot of them went for a superhero. A lot of them, um, a bunch of them said, like, the word superhero in their Meet the Queens. And this is truly superhero material. Mm -hmm. This is this is the first promo of the ones we'll discuss that I can truly see being a superhero outfit. Yeah, this one gagged me, literally. Like, uh, I knew she was going to bring something opulent because that's what I expect from the Philippines. Uh, I'm only halfway through uh, Philippines 1, but she is one of my favorites. Uh, so I'm really happy to see her here. And um, I already thought that she had like pretty good looks on her original season and to see that she's elevating it this much more, I'm excited to see what she brings mm -hmm. on the runway. Um, this is just rich. It's rich, bitch. It's 
Rich Mullet uh, Desert. It's stupid. It's so stupid good. Like, uh. Rich Mama Desert. Period. It's a very niche drag race quote. Um, but anyways, it's not about that. Um, Eva Laqueen, oh my god, love if there's one thing the Filipinas are gonna do, they're gonna turn a look. Like, come on. Like, I haven't watched season all of season one, but I've watched season two. Love Filipina drag. It's one of my favorites. Um, because they just know how to like they just know how to do drag. And I don't think like it's between Philippines and Brazil. There are no, there is not like there are not queens that love like a, a country of people that love drag as much as Brazil and the Philippines. It's like, not just dragged on. It's just whenever we have someone from our our country representing us in a global scale on anything, we go yeah. hard. Yeah, we can tell the same. Always. You can, you can see with uh, Mexico has started we'll get there, but we can see with Miranda on the uh, engagement on the RuPaul's like the official mm -hmm. socials. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Always. like they don't need to see come to y'all don't need to say come to Brazil anymore because y'all already y'all have the queens in Brazil. Yeah. I mean on your TV. I mean y'all still do, but like you know. But what still, I mean? like, always come to Brazil. Come to anyway, Brazil. what did you oh, what did you think of Eva's promo, Don? Yes, I love. Circling. Back. They interrupted me. Just thing, but no, I love Eva's promo. No, I think it's gorgeous. Fault. The stoning is amazing. Yes, um, the stoning is amazing. The headpiece is gorgeous. I love that she's weightlifting. Um, I will say I do like for this is just for all the pieces. No, not for all, most of the, the prop pieces. Um, they all feel a little bit tacky and they feel like they were just given these props, so it kind of feels like an afterthought. So I almost wish they weren't carrying them, but I get why they are. Um, just this this gradient stoning right here is just so gorgeous to me. The ribbons wrapped around the sheerness of the um of the bottom part of the chiffon. Chiffon. I can't tell. Yeah, is that what it? Yeah, no. I, the sheerness of the dress is very gorgeous. Everything here is just drag perfection for me. Yeah, Eva. Eva, as as I think the one person here who actually has finished season one of Drag Race Philippines, um, I can drag tell you, I will. Um, Eva is going to also bring fashion. She's fashion, but she's funny. She is someone that, like, she, she didn't win any challenges on her season. Spoiler for all of you. But she easily could have. And she is such a great represent representative of Filipino drag on this stage. I think this look is so good. The headpiece is immaculate. The mug is so, so good. The only thing I will say, and it's not a huge nitpick, I wish there was a little bit more going on in the bottom of the dress. I love the gradient stoning, but I just wish there was a little bit more visual interest at the base of the of the gown. Like but a gold otherwise, trim or something, something, or even some yeah. like gradient stoning at the very bottom or something. I just want a little bit of visual interest down there. But otherwise, Eva looks incredible, and I'm thrilled to see her back on my TV. So, scores. I mean, duh, duh, duh. Like, look at the material. All right. Look at that material. All right. Look at the material is a number. Sorry, yeah. Let's go back to my it's name. a feeling. It's, it's a feeling. feeling. It's, it's, it's a state of mind. It's our, it's it, our it, shoot. In a, in a numerical sense, it's a hundred, but in a in a, an emotional sense, it's duh. It's, Got it. Yeah. It's okay. I'm just I'm just I'm just I'm just being I'm just being mean. It's fine. Our scoring system <laughs> is crazy. I would our say is, yeah. I'm nitpicking what you said with the bottom just for some yeah. visual uh what did you say i just want a little yeah, bit of visual interest. interest at the bottom of the uh, yes. visual interest yeah give it like a 95 just because i i want that contrast that balance between such a heavy upper part it's very beautiful but i want it balanced at the bottom just a little something just a little, if the ribbon just went little down something. if the ribbon went down yes i don't care yes. if it's top heavy it's full I love that for you. All right. Thunder left. Um, don't worry, Robbie. You're not the only person that is giving a score of 100 numerically. Um, I gave Eva a 90. Because I've seen her do better. 
Mm. That's when we when we get to the episodes, uh, we'll talk about this uh, gorgeous turno look that she walked up. She walked on the runway in because uh, we'll get into it. We're not yeah. we're not talking about those until we talk about when we get to the episode recaps. But I'm excited mm. to talk about them nonetheless. So next up, uh, uh, representing uh, Drag Race Mexico, uh, it is Alavado. Uh, uh, Obviously, we're gonna have Eduardo start. Duh. But I do want to acknowledge for those of us that have watched La Mastraga that this uh, promo from Gala was actually made by Aviescu. Shocker to no one. Uh, but if you know Aviescu's work, I clocked it immediately and went and looked and I knew it was. So, and I love, shout out to Aviescu. Love, love Aviescu. But Eduardo, Eduardo, please. Gala is an absolute icon here in Mexico. We love her. When this came out, the amount of love that was shown towards Gala was absolutely insane to the point where Gala has the most likes on her picture on Instagram. That doesn't surprise me. That doesn't surprise me. Mexico's going hard for Gala and it doesn't surprise me in any way, shape or form. She is sexy. She is a dancer. She knows how to lip sync and she's gonna absolutely murder any lip syncs that she's ever on. She said that she went to uh, circus school. I don't think she went to circus school. I think she went. She worked at a circus, and you can absolutely tell when she's lip syncing and she's performing. She's just absolutely sexy, absolutely beautiful. She's just incredible. She struggles a little bit with her English, which is gonna be a slight problem. Because but I think it's gonna be an issue for a lot of the girls. So I, I honestly feel like there's a bit of a balance with it. But I did clock that as well. I agree. Yeah, people were calling her. Um, Gala Vergara, because she sounds like Sofia Vergara. Uh, Not this. But you know what? I'm going to support my girl always and forever. Um, and so I'm absolutely biased. And That's I not her catchphrase. I know, but I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Robbie, Robbie, listen. <laughs> I don't care. I don't give a shit. I could care less. I love her. She's incredible. I'm biased. Sue me. This is the. This is another promo, but this one is just incredible. Representation, just boxing, the colors of the Mexican flag, incredible. Another, like, I love. another, another one that fits so perfectly. So here. perfectly, like, I, yeah. yeah. Um, I know just. People that are famous in boxing in Puerto Rico, Tito Trinidad. I don't know about Mexico, but um, this look is just incredible. And the hair is also very good. It's very well balanced everywhere. And you can just tell it's Mexico from the jump. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to see like, representation no matter where or what country. Like, always, every time I see it, it brings a smile to my face and my heart. I just... Mi gente like, Latino. Mi gente Latino. Always. I mean, <laughs> and, it's, and it's a thing with, like, it's, it's mutual always, and it's just, like, I just love that so much. Uh, it makes me emotional. I'm not going to... Yeah. About God. Um, we'll, we'll wait. We'll get. We'll wait we'll to see your emotional we'll get into it. Well, until I, I, we I, get I, to we'll Miranda. Get into it. Mm -hmm. uh, I will have my moment. Uh, but for her, Absolutely. my favorite part. I do like this look, but my favorite part is her hair and her mug, because it's just so beyond. Like the 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 fullness of this hair is, oh, uh, it just, it's perfect. Um, the one thing. The one thing that I don't like. Uh, about the look is I do like the shoes, the boots, but um, the white part after like above the red part, I think was not needed. Like the part, the white on her thigh, I think, or maybe it could have been like red. I just don't like that part. But other than that, I think this is a great look. I love that she chose boxing. Um, the detail, like the details in this outfit are beyond. Like on the sleeves and here on the cape, like the, that stitching, so you beat me good. To it. You beat me to it. So, I mean, uh, so good. I didn't see Mexico one. Uh, I'm going to try to see it before this premieres. I'm going to try. I don't know if I'm, anyways. Um, it, but I'm excited to get to know her. 
It's a season I was going to highlight for you when I was going to give you that international list of seasons to watch. Mexico is absolutely up there. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm so in love with Mexico season two, I'm like, it's just right up on my list. So Go check out our active coverage of season two of Drag Race Mexico, available right up there. Second most viewed video we have, y'all, is episode two of Mexico season two. For no reason. And it's just me and Eduardo. It's so weird. I don't get it. It's always when it's two people that, Literally. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for me, I think this is the most dynamic promo. Like, especially like um Gala giving the punch, like that specific one where she's like this. That is you can just see the movement that is in the um that is in the cape that she's wearing. Um, like Ripper was saying, like I'm not like when I see that kind of stitching, like it feels very um, like I can tell, like it's very. It, tell me if I'm wrong, Eduardo. But like I see that, and it feels like that's very Mexican culture to have like that specific stitching. Like yeah. when I think of it, I think very like Latino. I think very Mexican. Um, and I love that, like all this lacing that's happening. I think it's very gorgeous. I think it's very sexy. River, I do disagree with you though. I like mm-hmm. the boots being thigh highs, and I like that she has shin guards on. I think that's really cool and fun and. Um, for me, as oh, a I don't mind. Queen, I don't mind the height of the boots. I just don't like the white. But that's all. Yeah. I get that. I but totally I get, get that. But for me, if it were red, I think it would not. Like I don't think it would match with the bodysuit as much. So I think they needed the white. And if anything, I would have gotten rid of the shin guards. But I like the shin guards there. Um, because if you were if it was just the shin guards, girl, I would have had a mental breakdown because y'all know, like y'all probably don't, but me. If you're wearing a bodysuit, I do not want to see a knee-high boot. I do not want to see a knee-high boot. It better be at least a thigh-high, or I will be mad. Also, I'm noticing a trend of nobody padding. Like, like bare legs. We're not there. We're We're not. Well, yeah, there, there's a lot of girls, actually. And that's very... That's actually something we see a lot internationally, is that a lot of... And it's kind of a more Alyssa international wasn't trend. trend. Alyssa's not padded either. A lot, of these padded, girls, no a lot of these girls are shifting away from that and doing a little bit more natural stuff when it comes to um, body, which, hey, if you've got it, flaunt it. And See. quite frankly, Miss Galavado has it. Oh, absolutely. Uh, this is, I mean, you I, have to take into consideration that in some places it's too hot to pad, girl. Oh, and Me- like, and I'm in one of those places. Mexico be like, one of those places. Oh. Brazil is Florida, a place. Florida being Florida. another one. Yeah, but, yeah. Human. Um, mm-hmm. I I will say I am so happy to see Gala back. Um, I I will be blunt in saying I don't think she would have been my first pick, but yeah. I am happy that it is Gala because I think Gala balances this cast very nicely. Where we have a queen whose aesthetic is so sex forward. And she fits a mold here in this cast that no one else really fits. And I love her for it. This promo is one of my favorites for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, It's an absolute knockout, pun intended. Mm -hmm. Um, But I think it's really, really good. Like I said earlier, you can tell that this is an obvious design and they Mm -hmm. did such a gorgeous Mm -hmm. job with it. Um, I love, it's all that detailing that all of y'all were talking about already. I just, I love it. The one thing I hope to see from Gala on this season is a bit of an improvement in her fashion. I do think we will see it, but that is an, her fashion, a little bit of improvement in fashion. And I hope that she's able to be a little bit more funny. That's kind of the yeah. one thing that held her back on her original season were always the comedy challenges. And I am worried for her on a cast where there's a lot of funny bitches. A lot yeah. of these girls are funny. So I am hopeful to see... A, a development from her, a growth from her, and I'm just thrilled to see her. So, scores for Galavado. We already know what one of those. <laughs> I'm biased. Obviously. You are Mexico. I'll give her 100. This is incredible. Great. 95. This is a full for me as well. Um, I cannot give her a 69, which is quite honestly the score nice. that would make the most sense for Galavado. However, I'm not going to do that. I will be giving her instead a 96. Club. 96. Club 96. We have to. Yes. Ah, Next up, uh, representing... We found, we found Amanda's kitty. 
Where's her kitty? It's Kitty Scott Claus. Um, from Drag Race, RuPaul's Drag Race UK season three, uh, finalist, icon, diva, all of the gorgeous, lovely things. Also, Dawn's not here to see it. Bare leg. Bare leg. But and that's beautiful. one of the things that that's one of the things that Kitty does very, very well. Is there's still a pad, but it's bare leg. Yeah. I mean, Kitty looks great, and especially taking into account that she struggled a little bit with the looks in her original season. Um, I think she looks incredible, especially like it's a it's a really good glow up. Um, I like where she was going with this. I think that the racket looks cheap and I don't think it should be there. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna but blame her for the for I the was problem. gonna say it's not her fault. That's not her fault. She, but the sport kind of does make sense. Yeah, of course. It's fucking like, Badminton. Badminton. It's one of the most British things that could ever come like pop into my mind. <laughs> but she looks great. She looks good, especially like I think she has it looks like she has had a great improvement uh, when it comes to the looks, and it looks great. Yeah, I I think she's going to be great in the season. She's going to probably kill every single like comedy challenge that is thrown her way, so I'm super excited to see her absolutely slay the competition. Finally, another queen that I'm familiar with, because I only Yay! watch US and UK versions of RuPaul's Drag Race. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Robbie! I wow. Uh, <clears throat> Kitty looks great. She is very funny. I love a pun in a drag name, which is what I was gonna say for Eva Le Queen as well. Love a pun of a drag name. Love Kitty's a got pun. claws. Love, love it. Pink. Like genuinely. Love pink. Those are my favorite kinds of names. And her promo look, I also love. And it's just I don't know how they did this with incorporating the flag in the dress itself but it looks it's all it's all like separate paneling that's then all sewn together like this look though it be though it's a little simple it definitely took a lot of time to make yes i was gonna say but that. sometimes yeah. simplicity is the best way to go the only critique i have that i'm not sure how i feel about it is the flowy fabric in the back that i could maybe do without mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, I agree. yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, I was gonna. Also, mention the hair like, kind of looks like the racket thing, the the racket piece, right. which I find very funny. Like where she holds the yeah, like the actual like what is supposed to be the tennis ball, but in racket ball. Mm -hmm. Oh, the um, it looks like yeah. the, the sure. birdie. The yeah, the birdie. The birdie. Yeah. Uh, one thing I I do like this hair. I just wish the pony was like more up on her head it's kind of you know weird like the placement yeah. of the pony is kind of weird to me uh but i do besides that i do like this hair um she always looks beautiful like in the face always every time um i can tell that this look was um took a very long time to make and it is very well made it's just not aesthetically pleasing to me personally i'm not a big a big fan but she looks great and is just like so well made, you can tell. So, um, and on her season, I was kind of rooting for her low key. Like I was between her and Ella. Um, and for me, the one thing that she was lacking a little bit was her runways. So I'm excited to see um, the elevation of that because I don't think she's gonna struggle that much with like any other challenge. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see what she brings. Yeah, Did she totally. win the ball? She won the... Th the but that ball, ball was very... No. She, won, she won the final five challenge where they had to do the three looks in the one episode with it, the it cherry the, chop and the... It lip. was called the ugly ball. Yes. Yeah. Was yeah. it technically a ball? It was a ball. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You were it, was, it was called a ball. Um, one of my favorite challenges... Oh, uh, yeah. They, in, didn't bring in Drag Race. they just Well, they just did something but, very similar on Drag Race France, but... Yeah, uh, um, I saw like yeah. they did a roast and I, yeah, all that. Um, yeah, they did three. Episode, they did three like separate challenges crazy. in one episode. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that uh, phone is wild. Let, let, but let Miss Don speak. Um, yeah, Kitty. One first thing I want to say: love how Kitty's bringing the exact same silhouette that she wore her entire season back for this promo. A short and, little dress with a shoulder <laughs> pad, and I live. And I well, yeah. Well, yes. 
Right. And so um, one, it's I on love brand. How she, it's on brand. And mm-hmm. I love how she incorporated the Union Jack. Um, Robbie, I do um, like how you were talking about how I you wish that the shawl wasn't there. I disagree because Not I feel shawl. like if it wasn't the the back piece, the um the that back piece wasn't there. I disagree because I feel like if it wasn't there, we would be saying I wish there was more. And at yeah. least there is something that's there to give a little bit more flow and a little bit more movement. So I appreciate it personally. Um, I love how she always kind of incorporates Spice Girls into everything that she does. Because I feel like that's just so UK of her, especially like UK millennial of her. Um, and I think that this is a great look. I love how you can really tell there's a glow up. And she's had like, and she's had even a major transformation from here to her new look, you know, or like, you know, because she's lost all I the was gonna of say, yeah. I was going to say she has become a skinny legend uh, since yes. the filming of this show. Very excited for her on that journey as well. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, she looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm obs- she was my I was Team Kitty on season three. She was my favorite drag queen from that season. Um, and when she got her win, I was just so excited because I like she, and the way that she looks like Emma Bunton is just so crazy to me because she looks <laughs> just like Emma Bunton. And she, she looks like a cross between Emma and Jerry. Yes, very that. But yeah, it's like if Jerry Halliwell's iconic Union Jack look was worn by Baby Spice, and I'm obsessed. And that's, I think, exactly what she's going for here, and which I, is why I'm obsessed with I live, I live. I live, so. I love Kitty. I do too. I think she is such the right pick for this from a season that I don't think anyone would have picked someone from. But I do think, because it is, objectively speaking, the worst season of UK um, in a lot of people's minds. I would say that. But I also My still favorite. really enjoyed the season. But I'm weird Valid. and I like chaos. You are. You are. Um, I think Kitty is such a great choice. There's maybe one or two other people I would have I would have picked personally. But I think Kitty is such a gorgeous choice for this season. Um, this promo, to me, is everything. It's I saw this and immediately just said, Baby Spice. Cool. Um, in a great <laughs> way. I think, and yes, she has done this silhouette a lot. But it's a silhouette that works for her. And in a promo that is now going to be following her for the rest of her life, I would rather her do something where she knows it's going to work on her body and she knows it's going to work in every single angle. And that's what we see here. Every single angle that we're seeing. Incredibly on brand. Incredibly on brand. Her promo is better to go on brand. Agreed. I think Kitty is a force to be reckoned with here. And I honestly think Kitty Scott Claus is the dark horse of this season. I don't think anyone is going to see her coming. And we already know RuPaul loves her. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, the girls that Ru knows probably are going to have a bit more of an advantage than the girls Mm -hmm. that Ru doesn't. 100%. I hate saying that, but I, I see it happening. But I love Kitty. I'm thrilled she's here. We did say on, we did see on UK versus the world season two that loved Marina Summers. So there's the potential there for any one of those queens to fall in that RuPaul elite list. Speaking of RuPaul elite list, I'm I'm genuinely shocked they didn't choose Lawrence so Lawrence could win some money. Well, Lawrence won, so that's, no, but, you know. So did BB. Well, no, but I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm, anyway, you know what I'm saying. Like... Anyway. Yeah, score. Well, she's making a lot in Vegas. She doesn't need this. She's fine. She doesn't need yeah, she's fine. No. Sure. Uh, scores for Kitty Scott Claus. Sure, I think the UK is. I was going to say oh. 85. Robbie, what, what happened to Ertl? Yeah, what happened to Ertl, Robbie? Is it me? Well, I give it an 82. Yes. I'm giving this a 90. Uh, going back on brand with the 80s, uh, I gave her an 86. Next up, representing Drag Race Down Under, it is Queen Mother King Kong from season two, finalist diva, uh, Pacifica royalty, and oh boy, is she. And she oh. is coming for the title of Thirst Trap Queen of the Season. It's her and Galavano. Fully. It's her. No, baby. No, baby. It's a close. Have you seen Gala out of drag? Yes, and it's her. It's I'm queen. Right. It's queen. For me I mean, too. I'm biased. I'm biased. Um, but anyways, I love the pick for queen. I wouldn't have chosen anybody else. This is the absolute mm-hmm. perfect pick. 
for Down Under. She looks incredible and she is absolutely everything that like it should like everything that should be represented from Down Under. She is incredible. She's great. I love her. I love the detailing in the bodies that she's wearing in the like crown that she's wearing and like everything about it is just really well made. The detailing is all there. It's really well thought out and I think it's incredible. It's really well done. The first thought that came into my mind was if if Aquaman went to the Olympics. In drag. Way in drag. Cool. Cool. <laughs> this is uh, this is Aqua Woman. Aqua going Woman to going oh, to the Olympics great. in drag. <laughs> this is great. Queen Kong, I am familiar with um just on a superficial level from watching clips from Hero Evangelista. <laughs> Shout out Hero Evangelista. We love. <laughs> But uh, this is great. I know that Queen Kong is another one of those elite RuPaul favorites from Down Under especially. I love the color palette of those metallic royal blues with the armor plating. And there's a, the there's a little like staff that she has in that last look. But then I'm a little confused on what the sport would be. I thought of something. Um, it's hammer throw. Hammer throw. Okay. Yeah, because the the star um, piece that she's yes. holding in the main. Yeah. I got it. It took me a second too I'm, when I first saw it. Because so in my work. head I thought shot put, but I'm like that's not it. This is it's shot. Yeah, put it's like hammer. That. I got it. Yeah, I got it. But this looks incredible. I especially love this part, the chin guard. Oh, so good. it's just. Who 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 thought of this? Queen Kong. <laughs> Nobody else did. <laughs> Period. It's just incredible. Yeah, it's it's giving Pacific Warrior for sure. Mm -hmm. Like it's I I love every time a queen incorporates their um heritage and like culture, all of that into their drag. I just love that because I love learning about it and I love aesthetically. I love it, but like the history behind it is just oh, I love. Um, uh, Queen was one of my favorites, uh, from the jump on her season. I love her. I'm obsessed. Truly, like, uh, and I agree. I wouldn't have picked anyone else from Down Under to, like, represent. She was the correct choice. Uh, about this look, uh, I am excited to see her on the season overall. I'm sure we're going to have great lip syncs coming from her, period. Uh, and then the dance challenges, of course. Um, but about this look, what's funny is my favorite parts of this look are everything but the garment. Not that I oh. don't like the garment, not that okay. I don't like it or I think it's bad. It's just, yeah, I like the, amazing. like the accessories and everything, all the other elements more than the garment. Um, which I don't, I don't think it's a problem, but, um, it's just something that I noticed because, uh, yeah. One thing I will say, because I'm very much a perfectionist is I wish she would have seen the cape. Um, oh, but it was, yeah, it was probably from like sitting and waiting to like uh, do the photo shoot. But like, I wish they had someone there with a steamer, like before they started taking the pictures to like, make sure everyone looks their best. I don't, I don't see this as like a her problem, but they're supposed uh, to, but yeah, exactly. But, um, I do, I, I love this look. The one thing that I would say is I wish it would fit a little bit better in the crotch area, but that's literally the only thing wrong with it because I love this. And I love yeah. that. Period. This is absolutely amazing. Um, I love how she went down the Oceanic route, especially since she's representing Oceania as a semi-continent as well. I think that was a really, really cool, like, factor to go or like a, a cool avenue to go down because nobody's going to be really thinking aquatic um and in a way like i think that's just so beautifully represented i love this like that the gauntlet or like the bangle that she's wearing with the shoulder piece it makes a really really interesting silhouette and having the um garment or like having the um shawl on this side kind of as a glove with it attached to the back of the piece. I think that's like a, such a cool and unique silhouette that we haven't really seen before. 
Um, I know it's a bodysuit, but like the way that she's accent like accenting the bodysuit, I think the chest piece is beautiful. The hair is insane. Queen Kong, absolute icon in the Down Under franchise. Like I don't literally know, literally mother, literally mother. I don't think I can't think of anybody else who would represent Drag Race Down Under than her um, on a season like this. Like absolutely insane. Um, what about Gabriella Labucci? I was gonna say other than Gabriella Labucci because like well, I her, to... her season hadn't aired. Her season she wasn't eligible. Gabriella. Love Gabriella Labucci. Love Gabriella Labucci. Like, can we just talk about Gabriella Labucci for a second? No. 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 Um, but <laughs> we can save Gab um, talk for another day. God, I will gab about Gab. But um, let's see what I did there. But um, yeah, the chess piece is amazing. Her mug is impeccable. I've seen her mug in person. Oh. Oh, her mug in person. Mm. And I, I will also say, I got to meet her last year. I had the honor of meeting her last year at DragCon. One of the sweetest drag queens I've ever met. I have like, a question because she yeah. looks like she smells good. Does she smell she good? She does. She smells amazing. Here. Gotta no, be honest. Smells smells doesn't she look no, no, like no, no, no. she smells good? Like, honestly. Yes. Fully. I, yes. It's all right. Absolutely. Absolutely. She, she um, said the life looks like it's grown out of your head. And then I cried. She said my wig was uh, growing out of my head. Oh, so she's a liar. Oh. So anyway, um, so uh, so anyway, here. Um, oh, the staff. So, I just noticed the staff. Yeah, the staff. Anyway, um, I agree. There's a lot of Down Under queens that I love. We love the Down Under franchise here on this channel, minus some of the queens from season one. Um, but we we love most of we love most of the franchise. But I do agree that I don't think there was any other better pick than Queen Kong. She is one of the most deserving people on this cast for me personally, because I think she is just such a dynamic performer. I cannot wait to see her perform. I think she is another one that we are going to see a lot of good things from uh, on this season. Interestingly, the more that I look at this promo river, I agree with you completely. I like everything here, but the garment. Mm -hmm. I think the bodysuit it's, or yeah, the bodysuit itself is fine. I think the detailing on it is good. But my eye is drawn towards the staff, the little crown of hair that's in with the hair, the spike glove situation, the hammer situation, the, the shoe. shoe, the, the shoe, the shoe, the shoes. The like, it's the so shoe. good, so so good. Um, I absolutely adore this individual. I'm so thrilled to see them on my TV again, and I'm on one of the pictures. Uh, on the one on the bottom, she kind of looks like she's holding like a trident. Yeah, I think I that's right? intentional. Until yeah, that's intentional. That's, I just yeah. noticed that. So cool. That's the I staff that. I mentioned earlier. Yeah, Robbie mentioned it. Oh. Yep. Yeah, I was like, both of you are mentioning the staff again. Robbie literally mentioned it. I did not see the staff until like right now. Scores! 96. Eighty-three. Ninety-two. Eighty-nine. Eighty-six. Also, you kept saying shawl, and I kept thinking of that one Roxy. We wear the crown. We wear the shawl. We we wear the shawl. shawl. <laughs> Period. No, what? I did too. Trust and believe, Robbie. Oh. I did too. Oh. <laughs> anyway, continuing. All <laughs> right, let me get let me get my piece, River. Give me thirty seconds. I promise. <laughs> Next up, representing season one of Drag Race Brasilia. Miranda Lebrow, finalist, gorgeous woman. That's all I have to say. River, please take it away, darling. Period. Honestly, I'm going to say this once covering the season, and I'm going to get it out of the way first. Do I wish we had a queen of color representing Brazil on a global scale as the first queen? Yes. Yes. Do I love Miranda? And I am. And am I happy to see her here? Also, yes. And those two things if, can be true at once. That's all I, I'm gonna say. I, I couldn't agree with you more because I'm like, would I have loved? I'm gonna say. I'm gonna go Jen. ahead and say specifically, Shannon Scarlett. Jen. Yes. Jen. Am I in love? Would Miranda have been my second choice? Also, yes. Bettina would have been my my second choice. But anyways, Fair. I love Miranda. I loved her. Um, from the first episode, uh, she probably has one of my favorite looks from the season. 
which was her first runway, which um, yes. many people did not get. But because I got the reference like straight away and it's just so, so Brazilian, like to the core, I just love her. And that's why that's one of the reasons that I'm excited to see her specifically in the season, because I know that Miranda is a person that thinks about stuff maybe even too much. But I'm just 100 percent sure that she's going to bring as much of Brazilian references and culture as she possibly can, if not even like more than she can. I'm that's why I'm like the happiest that she's here because she's just a very thoughtful queen. Um very much a perfectionist and she does have um a, a personal story that uh represents Brazilian people as a whole uh which is also one of the things that she said during the promo which was um I'm Brazilian I have we have no fear which is like I don't want to cry, but like it's because this is a thing like Brazilian resistance and resilience is a thing that we are. Uh, it's not a choice for us to to have that, but it's something that we are so proud as like a, a people overall to like have that. Um, and there it reminded me of one very famous and strong campaign in like the early 2000s. It was like a political campaign to raise the self-esteem of the Brazilian people, literally. Mm -hmm. And the campaign slogan was, I am Brazilian and I never give up. Her. And that's just what she represents. And I know she's gonna represent that story for us very well. And she's already doing it, in my opinion, with this look, because um, of course, one of the things that we are most known for is soccer. Uh, not currently. We are in a very um, rough place. Yeah, I was going to say, the last couple say of years, two years. The last couple of years have been weird. Even more. Uh, but here's the thing. it's It's been a rough spot uh, with the uh, the team itself, like it, uh, within the sport and the, um, the games, but also as a, with a moral standpoint, with like the what the players represent and stand for. So it's kind of hard for us to be proud of like the Brazilian soccer team at this moment, but for like decades, it's been one of like the reasons for us to like be proud on a global scale. So I'm happy that she brought that into this promo and in an elevated way, like the fact that she chose this pleated fabric that's just like so gorgeous uh, and so expensive. It, she looks expensive and I'm just so proud uh, one of the things that we had uh, recently similar to the U.S. was uh, the far right kind of taking over the national and like patriotic symbols, like the flag and the country colors, all of that. And recently we as a the queer community started like taking that back. And so her doing that, like reclaiming the colors and reclaiming soccer, because like she said in the Meet the Queen, she said, uh, some fags play soccer, too. And we have a lot of uh, gay soccer players, like women and men. So, yeah, if I had to say one very small thing about this look, I wish the green dress started an inch higher. Literally just that. Just that for me. But, like, she ate. I'm so excited to see her. I'm... She was trending on uh, Twitter, like Brazilian Twitter, for like oh, the whole good. afternoon. But then like some right. stuff um, happened and then because stuff is always happening here. So mm -hmm. it didn't last that long. But she was like, yeah. Uh, and also, like I mentioned before, like in the RuPaul's uh, official socials, uh, I think Mexico, Philippines and Brazil are like the three with the most engagement. Right. Uh, so, yeah. yeah, we just always go hard for for us, like we just always do. It doesn't matter. We did. Yeah, Brazil, like looking at the Instagram, Brazil has the second most liked picture. And I am super glad that it does because I know that Brazil loves whenever they're represented. And I like, us like Latin people, I like really, really love seeing more Latin people. On, like, it took so long screen. for it to start. It and like, while. we've been underrepresented for so long. So like every time we see it, it's just, it just sparks joy because we have so much yeah. to share. So 
So like, I'm just happy. Yeah. And, and I, I will say I'm thankful as well that at least two of the Latin Drag Race franchises are represented. I wish it was all three, I'll be honest with you, but I'm glad that at least there's two. Yeah, and I was gonna say, it feels even more like important that uh, Miranda is here because she is like part of the sisterhood of the Paramount uh, seasons. And so yes. it feels like those three seasons are sisters. And I feel like I need to support those queens that are from those countries even more now. And so having Miranda here is really good. And I do, and I will. And I will always be supporting Miranda. And we, we will move on to like the other queen that's also from the sisterhood. Uh, but I have so much respect for Brazilian drag and the, just Brazil as a whole. And so having her here means a lot. I love that she went with soccer because I know that that's like the national sport in Brazil as it is here in Mexico. We also love soccer. We're not as good at it as y'all are, but absolutely uh, love that she chose to go about it this way. I think she looks incredible. The actual dress itself looks great. She, I love the makeup. I love the lip. My only slight issue that I have is that uh, I wish her head, like she looks a little bit weird in the head. Like it looks a like little bit alien, a little, mega mind. A little, a little mega yeah, mind. yeah, and that's my. But I think it's intentional. Issue. Yeah, and that that may be the case, but like I wouldn't have made that choice, but I'm okay mm -hmm. with her making that choice. Uh, yeah. She still looks great. She still looks incredible, and I will support her every step of the way. I think this is great. I'm just I'm very moved also by what Eduardo and River are saying because Puerto Rico yeah. being a colony of the United States, yeah. it is also very underrepresented. So whenever we are represented on a global scale, we are also the same way. Um, in regards to the look, I love that it's just the green. It, it just I love how it looks in the camera. I love how it flows and how the light hits hits it just right, how it how it curves perfectly with the light. Um, I had not caught on that it was soccer until I saw the promo look with the goal thing with the net. behind her, with the behind. with the goal net behind her, um, because it she's like the I, field and the ball at the same time, kind of right. Um, yeah, and I had not caught on because the only other soccer look that I have to compare is Jan's in season twelve. Don't you bring up Jan on this podcast? <laughs> yeah, with me do around. It. Don't no. you do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't don't even don't even think about it. We're gonna move on from that comment. There's no soccer looks on Drag Race. No soccer looks. Love no her. Soccer. She's okay, my favorite. But no we're not soccer going into looks that. on Drag Race, except for one. If you want, if you want this one, if you if you want this podcast to be two hours longer than it's gonna be, don't bring up Jan. <laughs> okay, so not caught on that it was soccer. Other than that, this is great. Well. River, I just want to say I love you. I love you so much. And I love that you love this outfit. I love that everyone loves this outfit. I do not like this outfit. I'm sorry. And you're the only you're, one. And you're entitled okay. to it. Everyone's no, entitled to their own opinion. Wrong. And it's fine. Okay. I know. Um, also, I just want to say, like, beforehand, I know there was, like, a lot of Twitter beef between Drag Race Mexico and Drag Race Brazil, where a lot of them were downvoting them on Reddit, from what I heard. Yeah, can we Like, a lot of Brazilians that? were downvoting Drag Race Mexico, and a lot of... Or no, it's, like, on, it's, on IMD, it's on IMDb, it's on IMDb, too. IMDb. That's why the seasons are not as successful on IMDb as they Because, could. yeah, that's yeah, just what stupid. I heard. Yeah, it's Like, it was some, like, and... like, so I'm really glad to hear that, like... Y'all are like like it's a very small weird. part of the of yeah. each community that did that. They're just very loud. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I don't get like I get that it's soccer. Like I immediately got that. I just don't like the silhouette that she chose to represent soccer. It doesn't feel very athletic wear in that sense. Like I don't get the Bianca Del Rio cowl neck dress with the soccer ball and the ruffles and the ruches. Like I I, I get the concept and I like the concept. I just wish it was executed in a different silhouette to where I can enjoy it. Same with the the headpiece. I almost wish it was Jimbo's dots look the way that like you know how like Jimbo wore that like mm -hmm. helmet up, like over. And if that was the soccer yeah. ball, that would have been sickening to me. But the way it is right now, it almost just looks like it's like a what is that alien Mars attacks almost. Yeah, like, it is a little bit. Yeah. It, it just, 
I don't know. None of it just really like goes together for me in that way. Almost like if it was a soccer ball cat suit, sickening. If it was just this green dress, love it. But I feel like with both of them together, the the it look itself just feels so disconnected. Almost like she was photoshopped into this dress to me. Well, like I specifically, that. I don't agree, but I see it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, 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 do I do love I do. how much you love this look, though. And yeah. also this makeup. I think your opinion is valid, and I'm okay with it. <laughs> Robbie, you were trying to say, darling? Uh, having looked at an image of a soccer ball just now, I think the issue with the top part is that the black spots are so close together that, to me, it gives a little bit of a cow pattern. And so oh. I can hardly mm, I tell that it's, uh, that it's black pentagons. Also, yeah. mathematically, pentagons are the hardest shape to make into a pattern. Yeah. So I can see why it was an issue. Yeah, I wish it was closest to like the actual pattern because it is a little bit uh like differently placed. It's not giving the pattern of the ball, but I, I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. I I'm happy to see Miranda here. I mean, we all kind of knew from the time that she didn't show up to the finale viewing party for Drag Race Brazil that she wasn't she was gonna be on this season. I think she was mm -hmm. the first person confirmed on the on this yeah. cast, actually. Um, I enjoy Miranda. I mean, she was I, she was asked before the season even aired. Like, yeah, in the same way as uh, someone else, but we'll talk about it. Um, I'm happy to see Miranda here. I grew to really enjoy Miranda as the season went on on season one of Drag Race Brazil. Um, I see where you're coming from, Dawn. I may lean a little bit more your direction than everybody else here, but I do still like this promo a lot. It's not one of my absolute favorites. But there's a lot about this I do like, and the most, the bulk of it is this dress that I do really, really enjoy. I love the cowl neck with the full exposed shoulder with the sort of Mars Attacks headpiece soccer situation. Um, her shape here is stupid, and her shape oh, yeah. is always so good that, like, so that good. is one of the things. This is a this is a body girl. We've been waiting to see a body. This is a body girl. Her body tea. Her, Her body tea. Mm -hmm. yes. that tea. Um, but I do, but I do love um the way that the ruffles are coming off of this gown. Her mug is one of my favorite mugs on this cast as well. It's so dynamic, it's so angular, it just gives me everything I need. Love Miranda. Very happy she's here. Scores. River, do you want to go first? Since it's your girl? No, you can go first. You can go first. Okay, I'm gonna give it a 91. 80. Y'all know my score. It's a full for my girl. I'm not going to do her wrong. Of course. Not, no, of course. not on this it. day. Not on today. I'm going to give it a 64. Uh, I'm going to give it an 84. Next up, from a season I can bet none of y'all watched, uh, from Drag Race Italia, season two. This is Nelenia. Um, I actually have to say, I also didn't fully watch this season. <laughs> I want to watch it, but it's it's just, it, there's a lot. So There's a lot. Italia is a complex <laughs> franchise. Um, season three is very, very good. Um, and we did cover that on the channel. And we love season three. But I mean, there is um, that one iconic moment, right? That I'm excited. I, I want to see just because of that. The runway that's moment. From with that's from season one. That's from season one. But yes. Um, I love Nelenia. Um, for the people that don't know, she is she is bringing that real camp comedy sarcastic kind of drag that I really enjoy. And a lot of her drag is very inspired by anime, by video games. So she is very much one of us. Um, the comparisons have been made online between this promo and one Gallade. Uh, which I do love. You stole that from me. I was going to say that. Sure did. You know what it evolves uh, with, too? Not the plagiarism. A Dawn, Dawn, Dawn Stone. Stone, Logan. A Dawn Stone. Dang. Okay. You really robbed her. I did, but I need I to give too. everyone... Hey, none of y'all wa None of y'all watched her season. I need to give context. Regardless, she was a <laughs> finalist. Uh, she did very, very well in her season. And that's Nelania for you. I'm so yeah. mad at you. I'm so mad at you. <laughs> Okay, anyways, uh, 
I, since I don't know her, I don't have a lot to say, but I will say I like the look. I wish there was more red in it. I will definitely say that. Um, I wish there was just more because this look is good. I just want to see a, like more about it. Like I feel like there should have been a little bit more, but I still like it. I still think like the idea of it looking like it's blowing in the wind is really smart. And I think uh, she, th I can definitely see that she's like an anime girl. She looks like she's wearing like an anime outfit. And so she looks great. I just do wish that there was more and there was more red. That's like my only critique, but I still think she looks gorgeous. I love the hair and the makeup. I think she looks really, really good. So really well done. Remember in the beginning when we talked about Athena's promo looking kind of weird and not in line with the whole track uh, theme? This is what I wanted them to do with Athena's promo, having the bike in the yeah. actual rainbow lane. Uh, in terms of the actual look, what Eduardo's saying, I think maybe the laces, having the laces oh. red as a small you mean the, like, in the middle detail. or like the in the middle, the yeah, in the, the laces in the middle in the in corset. The corset. Mm -hmm. um, I think would have added a nice touch. Maybe the the wrapping on her right arm as red instead would have also been a nice touch. But or maybe overall, I think on the, the, look the is, one on the hair maybe. Or maybe that one. Just a little more red would have been nice other than just the earrings. Um, but overall, this is a, a nice look. Quite simple. Not my favorite. Don't really understand what's going on with the wrapping on on the leg. Looks kind of weird. On the arm, it looks fine. But the leg looks kind of weird to me. But uh, just pretty simple. It's okay. It's not my favorite. Yeah, I, I agree with uh, both of you. I do wish it had more red. Maybe even like a red lip or something. Um, yeah. I don't like, I, I do like this look. I don't like the wrappings on the arm. I don't mind the ones on, on, on the boot, but I don't like the ones on the arm. I don't think they add really anything to it. Um, I do like the idea of this look. I do think, um, I don't understand why she's on the bike. Like it would make sense for the person from France to be on the bike, that would make more sense to me. Ah, you're right. Yeah, so, but I don't know what uh, Italian sport or um, what sport is like I the actually, most famous I in actually, Italy? I don't know. Well. I, I actually think it's cycling. Well, then that makes sense, but it's well. just, yeah. yeah. Okay, that makes sense. France would have uh, fit better, I do agree with you. But uh, this is really the only one that I think, either this or honestly, soccer. But soccer was obviously already taken mm -hmm. by Brazil. So it's yeah. kind of, yeah, it's one of those things. Yeah, but I don't mind it. Uh, uh, this is one of the best props actually that we have, uh, which helps yeah. actually this promo to me because her look, although it's like a good look, it's, not, it's well made, she looks beautiful. Um, Especially like the corset part, corset part, you can tell that it's like it's very well made. Um, but it is a bit simple. Uh, I think that the fact that they have like the fan in this uh, flowy fabric is doing most of the work for me. Um, I didn't watch her season, so I am excited to see what she's going to bring. Uh, she was a finalist, right? You said, yeah. Never um, in the never below safe. Never below safe. Well, it's her and Kitty are the mm -hmm. only girls that never place below safe on their seasons. Mm -hmm. uh yeah the, uh so i'm excited to see what she's gonna bring i don't i don't know what to expect so um i like to be surprised uh i do wish her uh, i like her mug i just wish she had more on the face like the cheek part is a little bit um not like not uh dimensional it's like very flat so that's all all right y'all y'all already know what i'm gonna say this is my favorite look <laughs> like oh. The, based off one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, I'm going to be extremely biased when I am talking about this because I am going to go into every single level of detail that there is to go into here with this one. Please um, be concise. I'm going to... Uh, this is my gap. If River gets to gap, I get to gap. If Eduardo gets to gap, this I get to gap. This is your okay, moment. This is my moment. Let me have it. Okay. For a girl whose season you didn't watch. I did keep up with Nelenia. Thank you. Go, go for it. Go for Thank it. Thank you. Um, okay. 
I want to talk about specifically this earring detail because it is so important to Gallade's look. Because if you look at Gallade, Gallade has this specific triangle piece that goes right through his chest. I think that is such a beautiful detail that she has here. The red in the eyes, Gallade has red eyes. Um, I do agree. I do wish there was a red mm -hmm. lip. But I love that she was inspired. Like the specific, like the elbow details, Gallade has elbow swords. Like having like a ribbon specifically there makes me extremely happy. I love that she has the green arm pieces. Just like everything about it is just so perfect and so Gallade and so stunning. Like Gallade has a headpiece, like, and that's kind of like, like symbolized by the ponytail. And even with that like little, like Gallade has a like two pronged side piece that kind of like comes out and that's like his face. So like, this is like everything to me. Nalenia, I'm obsessed with you. I did watch a the first couple of episodes of Italia. So I do, I did want of this specific season. So I am aware of, of Nihilania and I am obsessed with her drag. Um, like that anime inspired. This is very, I could see myself wearing this. I could see oh, myself yeah. wearing this hair. This is very Dawnstone and literally and figuratively. And mm -hmm. I, I'm very obsessed. I'm excited for Nelenia. I think she is, she's going to bring this like dry, sarcastic kind of sense of humor to this cast, which I think is going to be really nice. I think her humor is really going to blend with a lot of the queens also, because someone else that does have a bit of a drier sense of humor is Galavado. And I think we could maybe see, uh, I think we're going to see some similarities in, in that. Um, I caught on immediately that it was Galate inspired and I really, really love it as well. Obviously, I was going to let Dawn do the whole explanation of it. I wasn't going to do the whole thing myself. But um, I do really, really like the way that the whole thing is constructed. Some of the some of the tie-off band pieces, I, I could have done without maybe a few of them. But I do actually like the effect that it gives, specifically because of the main promo, where it is windswept. It does give a nice effect to the look. Um, I also wish it was a red lip. There's a little bit of red in the eye. But that's really, mm -hmm. other than the earring, that's the only red we're getting. I wish we got a little bit more of it. But overall, very excited for Nalinia. Skies. 80. Sixteen. I don't like this that much. Did you say 16? 60. Okay. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> um, I, gave it an, <laughs> I gave it an 80 as well. Full. I'm biased on this one. We need to stop sharing the brain cell. I gave this an 80. Why do we keep doing this? this I do wish it was lip liner, though. I wish she had lip uh, liner. Next yeah. up, representing mm. Canada's mm. Drag Race, mm. Pythia, mm. period, icon. Y'all know who she is. Boom. Girl. Mm. Look at it. Like, it just, it's absolutely. Look at the material. Look, look at the material. material. Look at the material. Like, it's absolute perfection. Everything about it is great. I really, really, really love this hair. This hair is really like the centerpiece of this outfit and it like blows me away. It's incredible. I just think Pythia is one of those queens that I think like it's impossible for her to look bad. I think she will always look great and like, I love her so much. She's incredible. I think she's one of the best options that you could have picked from Canada. It's which is I, saying a lot because they have great queens. Yeah, they have incredible. There's a there. lot. Of, there's a lot of picks. Yeah, there's a lot of picks that could have been mm -hmm. done, and Pythia is definitely one of the best ones in my opinion. I'm obsessed with this outfit. I think it's really well done. It's really perfection. Well done. Well done. I love, I think this is my favorite promo look so far. So the, I, I saw them, but I'm like seeing them with fresh eyes really totally, close. Yeah. This is my favorite look so far. And I just really enjoy how the colors, obviously it's a Canada flag colors, but like they, they mesh really well together. Love the hair. Absolutely love the fencing glove moment. That's the fencing finger. It's so obviously my favorite part. And it's just very well put together. 
And the little details of like, the, it looks like slashes of people actually passing the fencing through the clothing. Mm -hmm. Just incredible. I have zero notes. Oh, she was one of the queens that uh, since I saw her on her season, I've been excited to see her back. Like immediately. Mm -hmm. I was like waiting, looking at the clock, like give me the back. Uh, this is perfection. Uh, I don't know if this is what she was going for, but like the hair to me kind of looks like uh, it's giving a little bit of a maple leaf, like half of a maple leaf kind of mm -hmm. the shape. I don't know if it's intentional, but if it wasn't, that's what it's giving. Knowing her, it was. Knowing her. Right? I was going to say that uh, about this look, that everything is just so intentional with her always. Like every detail is thought of and uh, the silhouette of this is beautiful. I love the square hips love um the height of the boot and the where the garment like the white garment ends the amount of red that she's showing on the thigh is the perfect amount to like make her silhouette look the best possible i love that one um one arm is with the red glove and then the other is like the white with the fencing finger always like everything just rhinestone to the gods as it should be period um if i had one note which is just to elevate it even more i wish she had brought some of the blood on the face that's all like maybe like one small splatter of blood like rhinestone blood me but that's just honestly me being a bitch so yeah <laughs> i'm excited she's the one that i'm excited to see coming on that runway every time i'm gonna be like every time she's mm -hmm. like turning around yeah, fully. Pathia is, like, going to be the look queen of the season for me. Like, she, like, nobody's doing it, like, their concepts. And, like, when I think back to their runways, I think of that um, horse runway that they did, the centaur runway. Ah! Uh, I think of the Greek, um, the, the double heads. The, the double heads. heads. I think I love how she always incorporates her Greek culture into her drag, because not only is she representing Canada, she's also representing Greece. And yeah. I think that's really, really beautiful that she's able to do that and bringing this in here. Um, uh, like, I will say there is only one queen, which I'm so glad we get to see her on our screens this year. But I, if there was one queen I would have put above, Can um, above Pythia it, from Canada, it would have been Fierce Alicious. Just because I want to see her in front of RuPaul. But I again, don't think I'm Fierce so is the right pick for this cast. I got to be honest with you. I love Fierce. I, I don't think she's the right pick. I totally understand. I what this I don't think we have saying. really like a good like pot stir. I just want like, uh, but fierce with Alyssa would have been. I think we have a pot stir. <laughs> no fucking doubt. Yeah, but like, I want to know who do you think that that would be. We'll talk about her in a little bit. But yeah, okay. Thea is amazing. Love her drag. One of the most detail oriented artists we've seen. Like a really fantastic representative for Canadian drag. So I'm excited to see her. Yeah, I, I think there's some so eye candy as well. Might oh, an another pretty human out of drag. Yes, oh, God. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think Pythia is a great choice. There are there are a few other choices that could have been made, but I think Pythia is such a great representative for that exact reason you were giving Dawn as well. Not only is she representing Canada, but she is representing Greece in a great way that I love a lot of... Actually, there's, I think three queens on this cast that are representing another country too. She is the, we're literally about to talk to them, uh, talk about them back to back to back, which I think is very fun too. Um, I love this promo. I think this is one of the most successful promos for sure. For all of the reasons y'all already said, the slashing representing the kind of like fencing situation, the fencing uh, nail is everything for me. Uh, the hip here is so good. It's such a simple silhouette, but done in such a beautifully gorgeously exaggerated way elevated. and i really it's very elevated she's got a lot to live up to because her canada season two pack uh, runway package was one of the best so i am very intrigued to see um what pythia does i'm so happy to see her i was thinking that maybe plastique was going to have the best package of this year but maybe is gonna, gonna be yeah. is gonna be it's closed. coming for her. Run for her money. Yes, God. A run for all the money that she hasn't won. Ooh. Ooh. All the 250k yes. that she put onto her package. 
scores. Allegedly. Uh, this is a duh for me. Like a fool. Whatever is infinity. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> mugs are, this, mugs this are mugs whole water are. bottle. Mugs are. Mugs this are. Whole fucking bottle. Yeah, because mugs are, because the cup. <laughs> yes. I am out of mm-hmm. red juice. So everyone I don't think you need up. more, honey. Um... <laughs> Folds across the board for everybody involved. I'm also giving her a period. Yes, God. Was it the only one? I think so, right? So far, the yeah. only one. Good job, Pythia. This is incredible. Yes, God. Yes. Next up, representing Drag Race France. It oh, is God. season one finalist and icon, Saw the Muse. Who I will I will say before we dive into the actual thoughts, I wouldn't have picked anyone else personally. Um, I don't know who here watched France. I actually don't know if any of you did. Kind of watched some of it. Soa is the the right choice. There's a lot of great is girls. She from season one. Mm-hmm. She's from season one. Uh, she was the other finalist along with the winner and La Grande Dame. Mm-hmm. So Soa is. Gorgeous. She is not only representing France, but she is also representing the um, the island nation of uh, Martinique. So I'm very excited to see some Caribbean representation as well on this season. It's the closest you're gonna get, Robbie. So I'm, yeah, it's it's. I mean, you got representation around. on on Canada though, right? So. Well, this is different. This is global, yeah, but this is- I love, I love, I love Soa dearly, and uh, yeah. I'll give the rest of my thoughts later. Yeah. What I know about Soa, I absolutely have to agree that she is the pick to go for when it comes to picking someone from France. I will say this, though. I like Soa more than I like this outfit. I think this outfit is very, very, very simple. And knowing what Soa has brought to the stage before, it's very underwhelming. Because I know that she can do incredible things and that she can do bring incredible looks. And so this is not to the caliber that she has shown before, which is like really sad because like I I want her to look her best in a season like this. And so it's kind of underwhelming. It might be in fact one of like my least favorite of like the entire promo, which is really unfortunate because I love Soa and I love that she is like we have someone from like France that's like a POC that's representing them. I think that's very important. I think it's also very important that she's representing someone from the Caribbean. And so it kind of just, I wish she was bringing more to the look because I want her to do well. And like the look isn't showing her full potential, but yeah, that's that's all I have to say. I disagree. The look is fine. The look is great. It is simple because she's representing diving because she's Caribbean and we're surrounded by water all the time. <laughs> Lock in. So You're right. it is it is amazing. My boyfriend also did diving so it's like ah this is this is a cute moment for me. Um I noticed in the Meet the Queens that they kept saying Soa the Muse's name. So this is a very miscongeniality if they do that like they did for UK versus the world. She might be the pick for that. She might be the pick for Miss Congenial. A lot of the girls were picking Sodomies, yeah. Yeah, they yes. love her. Uh, they were mentioning her a lot. And I just, again, I think this is incredible. And if you peek at, it's more noticeable in the very last photo, the little tendrils, it kind of looks like the tendrils of on, on a fish, which is, again, mm-hmm. we're surrounded by water. It's just those little details that you have to look for in 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 its simplicity. I love it. It's great. <laughs> yeah, I I haven't watched a her season. I'm not mad at this look. It's not my favorite though. Um, it is simple, but it is well done, and she looks beautiful in it. Um, uh, but. Like, for example, I wouldn't have a problem. I wouldn't have anything to say about this look if it was like a regular season look, promo, promo. But for Global All-Stars, I wanted more. So that's, like, uh, regarding the look, that's really my only critique. Like, I just wanted more. Uh, this idea, but, like, elevated. 
Uh, I'm not a fan of the hair, though. I will say that. Um, the style or this color. I think this color doesn't really flatter her. Uh, and she's so beautiful. So, like, it's, yeah. If it was, like, black, I think it would have uh, looked uh, better. But, um, yeah, I'm excited to see what she brings because clearly, like, all the other... Okay. Uh, all the other queens, like, love her. So I'm excited to see the dynamic of her with the other queens, like, in the workroom and all of that. Um, and, yeah, I'm just excited to get to know her. I don't know what to expect, so... I think one thing we'll I'll add is the issue that I think you're having, you collectively, is that there's no rhinestones. There's no sparkly yeah. things for you to look yeah. at. So I think she went a very literal route, and that's why you're all like, oh, this is not my favorite. I like this. Yeah, yeah I, I, I see what you mean. I just, I don't, I, don't, I don't need stones. I just, even if it didn't have like shine or anything like that, even like if the sleeves were like puffier, like bigger, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just, yeah, but that's just me. Go ahead, Don. No, I really like this look. Um, I agree with Robbie here. Um, I don't think it needs that many stones. I think okay. that... Um, shut up um i i like the uh i i really really like the boots because i like that it's a custom boot cover i like that everything kind of has that like cohesion it feels the most like this is something that you would see at the olympics as an olympic uniform and i think that's what i really like about it um i like that there's a hood because as a swimmer um because i was on the swim team for four, seven years um from middle school all the way to senior year of high school um i definitely have seen people wearing this exact same outfit um so i think that it's a very very great representation of that um i am fine with the pussycat wig um i think honestly she looks great in it and there aren't many people that can pull off a pussycat wig so like good for her um mm -hmm. the only critique isn't even about her it's about this damn diving board because everything else is campy why this diving board can't be <laughs> right um anyway let me live my life i just was trying to make a joke but um yeah no it's um i i really enjoy this look i think it's gorgeous um and it's simple yet effective that's exactly the term that i would use to describe it as simple but effective i do enjoy it um, I like that it's a little bit more minimalistic because so so as fashion is a lot more minimalistic. That's what we even saw that with. We're not talking about the the entrance runway looks today, but that is kind of what we get from her drag. It's it's fashion. It's minimalistic. She is always one hundred percent unapologetically black, and I'm so excited to see more of that on the global stage. I I, I do wish there was more of that on this cast. Uh, um across the board but i'm happy i'm happy with the representation that we got because that that the rep the black representation we are getting on this cast is black excellence so i'm i'm thrilled to see it from from these divas um the only part i don't like about this is the wig i do not care for this wig and i think it's the color i get it with the overall ensemble i just don't personally enjoy it all that much um uh, i also think and if someone knows in the comments please let me know um, I believe that this is actually inspired by a former opening ceremony look from the French Olympic team. So I think there are mm. actually um, Olympic references here uh, beyond, you know, the diving influences, which I also caught, Robbie. So I, I'm with you on that. Um, but I'm, so is one of my favorites. Um, I'm so thrilled to see her get another shot here. She's someone else that might struggle with the language barrier as well. I am a little concerned about her with that. I think she will overcome it, but she is one of the girls that, you know, the accent is a little bit thicker. So we will see how that translates on the show. And I think that's one of the most interesting things I'm looking forward to is seeing seeing the, um, the non-English language speaking girls um, and how they're, how they're able to adapt. And I hope very successfully for all of them. Mm -hmm. As long as they don't just have a to list add, challenge, I think they'll be fine. That part. Just to add to that, Logan, I hope they have a silent acting challenge. 
<gasps> like silent movies. Oh, like a miming just challenge? like physical, like physical oh, comedy challenge, physical comedy, yeah. physical acting, uh -huh. right? It would make total they sense. Won't, they won't, but that would be really great. They won't, but that'd be great. <laughs> you never know. They gave a mime challenge to Olivia. Sixty-eight. Love. We'll never know. Thank you, Eduardo. Sixty-eight. I'll give it a ninety-nine. The wig is not her best. I love that we all have such different tastes. I give it a sensible 74. <laughs> that was um, an 80. Uh, I, gave someone, I gave someone 81. Okay. Wow. Oh. Just wow. Okay. Just wow. Next up, representing. Oh, oh I have to uh, go out. Well, so. at the right time, baby. You're not you even going to let me have my moment first. No, I needed it first because I need to step in and say this about this look. This is the only look I want to talk about. This is the only time I want to talk about. I'm going to step in real quick and I'm going to get out y'all way <laughs> because Tessa, what are you doing with your life? What are you doing? I don't understand what's happening right now. How you're playing in our faces with this look. Why are you coming? No, I'm just kidding. Tessa, I love this look. I can't even front. I can't even front. And the only reason I'm doing this is because I know Miss Tessa is going to be watching this podcast. And she specifically sent word to me that I can't crap on her look this time around like I did in Germany. <laughs> that's tea, and, and that's tea. And I'm literally like- Even like, if you wanted to, Lana, because- uh, Well, I mean, hold on. But, look at the material. But, but hold on, hold on. I am somebody who you can't tell me what to do, Tessa. You can't tell me not to crap on your look if I want to crap on your look, honey. I do what I do, I do what I want to do. and But this look is amazing and I can't even do it because you look, fabulous you have eaten this look you have elevated yourself from germany i can't even lie and so tessa i love you this look is fabulous you're amazing and if i was scoring you would get a full cup from me today period and that's on that and i'm gonna go bye y'all bye Lana. we love Lana. we love having a cameo love Lana. resident love, love Lana. 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 love Lana. but we obviously, of course, yeah, are talking about, yeah, just a little bit. Um, we are obviously talking about Tessa Testicle from season one of Drag Race Germany. Now it's time for me to have my moment because, okay, I'm going to do, I'm going to attempt to do this without crying, but um, Tessa is someone that I've actually um, grown to be, I, I, I would say really good friends with uh, since her season. Um, we literally started talking because we covered her season of Drag Race Germany and we were all such big fans of hers that um, I feel incredibly lucky to um, have gotten the response from her that I did um, and the friendship that I have from her. And I, I, will, I will go ahead and say I've known that she was on this cast for a while. Um, I don't know how she does. Um, but I am, for me, this cast is incredible. This cast is filled with global superstars, but there is no one girl on this cast that deserves this shot more than Tessa does. The way that, the way that this fandom has treated her before this announcement is, and honestly still during, is absolute bullshit. Um, a lot of people, there are literal comments on uh, Instagram and TikTok that say, all icons and Tessa. And if anyone watching this video is doing that, I will personally verbally fight you online. Because for me, this girl is family. And I absolutely love this human with every fiber of my being. She is the most deserving person to be here. And I am so excited for her to prove every single one of the haters wrong. With that being said, I hate the look. No, I'm kidding. 
Um, no, I am truly, no, I couldn't hate Could you this. imagine? This, could you imagine? Um, yeah, no, this is this is my favorite look of the promo. I am biased, but I, I think I would probably say that externally if I was looking at it, objectively speaking. The way and she is another one that is um, representing Drag Race Germany, but she is from Switzerland. And the way that this look incorporates both the Swiss and German flags is so beyond smart for me. And I do love that it is primarily Swiss colors. Like that for me, just really, I'm just so obsessed with that. Um, it is it is simple but effective in the absolute most perfect way. And I am I am so proud of this bitch. I really am. Yeah, this is incredible. I uh, didn't get the chance to watch Germany, but as I said, she is part of the sisterhood of the Paramount uh, seasons, so therefore I love her immediately. Um, <laughs> and she's also a friend of the pod, so I love her even more now. Um, yes. And like, from knowing the little bit of like what happened in the season, she wouldn't have been my first pick, but at the same time, I'm super glad that she's getting this shot because you are so right, Logan. The way that fans have treated her is kind of absolute bullshit because, like, look at her now. She is yeah. incredible. And it's very obvious that the way that you're describing her, that she's a very nice person. And, like, the glow up that she's had yeah. from her season to now is absolutely incredible. So I'm really, really excited to get to see her, get to meet her. Um, this look is incredible she's she did a really really good job like i didn't know she was a friend of the pot and i was already loving her from mm -hmm. just the look and so knowing all of this it's makes it's making me like her even more it's just incredible my only critique is that her form on the bow and arrow is not great because i am an archer i know her do oh yeah no tessa great. tessa because i know you're watching this tessa um yeah the form's not good i'm also an archer uh the form's not good but i'll give <laughs> i'll give it to you it's fine I'll pass it. It's fine. And I'm pretty sure Switzerland or Germany is actually known for archery in the Olympics also. I think that's another, like, weird thing. That's very that, likely. Oh. That's very yeah. likely. But that's literally my only joke critique. This is great. She looks incredible. That pose in the last picture. Ooh, bitch. Everything. Oh, bitch. Eight. And also, Everything. the eye candy. She's also so pretty. Oh, She's yeah. So um, watch that. Yeah, yeah, if you're not following, if you're not following Tessa for the thirst traps, go do it. I, I highly Please encourage do. it. She post she posted one today. It, it's pretty nice. I'm not gonna mm -hmm. She is really attractive, anyways. Very attractive man. I was also gonna critique the archery pose. <laughs> but I was more so gonna do it on the production side because the prop, yes. if you wanna do an actual good arch uh, bow. The bow yeah. is has to actually bend rather than the ends of the bow. Yeah. But that's a note for World of Wonder, not for this lovely queen right here, whose look is absolutely amazing. And you saying that she's from Switzerland made the look made more sense yeah. to me. Um, and I especially like the, the targets look like the cross on the Switzerland flag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which brought it all together for me. Mm -hmm. This is. I'm just going to say my score now. This is my other 100. Mm -hmm. This is my other 100. And I think in the, what is the word I'm looking for? Composition of the photo yeah. really helped highlight her look Absolutely. so well because she of She stands the, out on the group She photo. stands out the most out of mm -hmm. anybody in, the, yeah. in all of her promo looks because of the uh, rainbow <laughs> background. Mm -hmm. Just, mm -hmm. it's just great. It is just great. This is, it's giving Powerpuff Girl. If, if she- This if is the red Powerpuff, Powerpuff Girl. This mm -hmm. is, this is Blossom. If Katniss and Blossom had, had a child. Yeah. Very um, Mockingjay Blossom. Yeah. Yes. You know the one I promo agree. with her in the red? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to circle back to some days of the pod, this is giving, Interesting angular movements. Yes. I forgot to do it earlier. Uh, and I saw that. Dom I also before. didn't have the opportunity to watch her original season yet, but it is on my list. 
every season, but I didn't get if for yet, nothing, but... if for nothing else, watch all four of her lip syncs. She won okay. all four of her lip syncs. Oh yeah, people. that's why yeah, she, she mentioned she herself it. A she mentioned it. Assassin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she, so she, yeah. uh, she is the lowest placing queen on this cast uh, by a margin. She was eighth um, on her season uh, in five episodes that she was on. She lip synced four times. Oh. Okay, because I was kind of like you were saying about how uh, the fandom treated her, and I didn't. I was like confused because, like, how could yeah. you? Yeah. How? How? I'm sure they'll turn and, uh, around. It, like they're turning around for Roxy Andrews now. And oh, they yeah, are turning sure. around for Tessa already. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, no, and she's I'm, been I'm the happy talk for of her the... for that. Yeah. Yeah. As she should, because this promo is Gagiana, Gagas Ronda. It's, it's, it's. It's stupid. It's stupid good. I don't know if she knew that she was going to do the uh, the archery, and that's why she chose those. Uh, I earrings. believe, you know, now because, that I'm starting to think about it more, I think it might actually be intentional choices. Right? Yeah. I, um, I was going to say that the one small thing that I was going to say about the look is that there's no yellow for, like, the German flag. But knowing that she's actually from... Um, Switzerland so like it, it does make more sense to me now so I'm, I would not say that critique anymore like it doesn't matter um it it is if you think about it a simple ish look but it's it's all on the details for me and it's just so well done uh the fabric choice like everything is just perfection I just I'm I'm, I'm excited to get to know her um now knowing that she's like a friend of you and a friend of the pot, like I'm excited that she's gonna see us, yeah. you know, like what we say. Um oh, as soon as this video yeah. is uploaded, she's getting the link. So <laughs> Tessa, I didn't know now that I do, I, I stand. I'm a stan. Uh and yeah, if I get to pick her for the draft, she's one of my top choices. Even though I don't know her at all, like she mm, I expect. I expect her to do very well. I'm excited for her. Um, I agree with everything that you guys are all saying, so I'm not going to complete. I'm going to not keep harping on those. Um, but I am going to say her Twitter is fantastic. She's so funny. Um, she is. She so funny. is so when she, when I Love tell her, her when, she, when she said in her Meet the Queens that she is funnier in English, it is true. It really is true. Like it, out of the um, English as a second language girls, she was. The one that uh, had the the best uh, like speaking pattern, like that. Well, least... and English English is also a common language amongst I know. both Germany and Switzerland, so that also yeah. does aid it. Aid it's their second bit. language, like in the country, yeah. they learn it from like early age. So I get it. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm excited for her. Ugh. But yeah, no, um, I I really like um, this look. I love how like. The thing I've really noticed is like um, with a lot of these people, they're like really incorporating how they're going to be posing with these looks when they're making them, which I really, really enjoy. The dynamics of the of the bow from at least like an amateur just viewer perspective. Obviously, she's doing archery. It's very, it's very gorgeous. Um, her makeup is amazing because I did see her first promo. Wasn't my favorite. Point blank, period. Seeing from that to this is just a complete 180 transformation. Also, her skin, like, my God, she is <laughs> glowing. Like, oh, my God, what is her regimen? I need it. Um, this mug. She might comment it below. Who knows? She might. Who knows? Uh, hi, Tessa. Love you. Um, yeah, this is absolutely stunning. The, um, the Madonna cone bra. Like with the targets, I think that was a really, really smart choice. The silhouette of having the two black pieces to make her hips look even smaller. This is body T down, and I am obsessed. She is doing yeah. drag correctly here. And I know, I, I just know, especially after her um reveal look as well, the judges are going to eat her up. Yeah. She looks so charisma unique, Miss Nervin Talent. Bitch. She really does so, look very charisma unique with certain mm. talent. Uh, remember when I was talking earlier about who might be a pot stirrer? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Then I love her even more, girl. This is going to be fun, but... I'm mm -hmm. here for it. Scores. It has to be a full cut. I already it said has to. 
Full. Full. Thank you all for giving my friend a full. Period. I appreciate it. Deserved. Absolutely. You know what that does deserve. Hold on. We didn't we didn't do it earlier for Pathia and I feel bad. So this is for both Tessa and uh Pathia. Deserve, deserve. Deserve. And last up, definitely from a season I know only about 36 people worldwide watched, and I was one of them, uh, from season one of Drag Race Safadie. Or and the other was Be Like Boy. And the other was Be Like Boy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> literally, no, legitimately, that is one thing him and I, he was on for our coverage of Safadie um, <laughs> at one point. But this is Vanity Vane. Uh, she was third place. Uh, a finalist, but she was third place um, on season one of Drag Race Fadia. Um, her aesthetic is very pop star, rock star, kind of like she she talked about it in the Meet the Queens as well. Like her, it's very pop girly. Um, she is a performer. She is a good performer at that. And I will be honest, she is also very nice to look at out of drag. So yeah. vanity vain for you all. Well, I can cl clearly tell that she is definitely a pop girlie. I can tell, like, from the look immediately that that's kind of the reference that she goes for. I'm get kind of getting sick of this kind of hair that the girls are starting to do. Um, I think it's a lot, but, like, I don't blame her for doing it. It's on trend. It's fine. Um, I will say that, like, uh, it's a good look, but it's kind of simple compared to a few of the other looks that we've seen throughout, like, this promo. So I wish there was more, but I still I still like it. I still see what she's going for, and I think she looks good. I just wish there was like more on the bottom half of it, but she still looks good. I am. <laughs> My silence. I am glad you're all. going before me. <laughs> My silence says all. Uh, this is this is the worst look. Unfortunately, it's mm -hmm. not. I it's is this the 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 marathon? Is this the ten k run look? Apparently, I, I don't know, and I'm only thinking that because of the little ribbon at the end where they do like mm -hmm. the marathons and where they end. I don't nothing, truly nothing, other than her makeup and her shoes, I like. It is, and also I think just how she's posing and the, los flecos en los brazos. I don't know how to say that. Fringe. The fringe. The fringe. <laughs> the fringe on the arms. I got you. I'm mildly bilingual. Hey, not doing her any favors. The fringe on her arms is not doing her any favors in terms of posing. And it is so unfortunate because I'm sure she's very talented, but it's just not great. And she is. It's not great. Yeah, I was, I was going to add to that. I'm sure she's very talented. It's just not showing that in this look particularly. Does she look bad? No. Is this a bad look in my opinion? No. Um, it is my I least favorite. Um, but go off. I mean, see, here's the thing. Is it my aesthetic choice, like the one that I like the most? No, but I don't think it's ugly. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't think it's badly made. It's not, um, it, it fits well. Do you know what I mean? Like the basics of like a garment. Um, but that's all like it's, I usually love a fringe moment, but I'm not living for this fringe moment in particular. Um, I like the shoe, but I don't think the shoe goes with this outfit. I love her mug, though. She looks beautiful. Her her um, eye makeup, especially, beat. Um, I hope I, I didn't see her season, but I hope that she okay, is no better. Idea. Yeah, I hope. I, I, all I'm gonna say is I hope she's better than this look. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm going to tell you all right now, this look is from AliExpress. It actually is. Like, that isn't even me joking. It's actually from AliExpress. Um, and and I, she did embellish it. I'll give her that. 
she embellished it. She added the little rhinestones and the yellow pieces. But deadass, it's from AliExpress, um, which really kind of, in a way, does, does disappoint me because this is an All Stars promo look, and I get not everybody has money. Mayhem but if Miller it was like a lip sync it. look. It's fine, but for the promo, right? Um, you know, Mayhem Miller entered in an Amazon bodysuit, like, and that's okay. I get it. Um, but and if she looks sickening, she looks sickening. But you know, this is that was in 2020. This is 2024. We've had Drag Race on for 16 years now. And we've had 16 seasons of Drag Race and plus a million more. And I get not everybody has money. That's totally okay. And I get that. But an AliExpress bodysuit that a lot of drag queens have had before her for an All-Stars promo isn't my complete favorite. Um, I don't get the yellow Tims. Like, why is she wearing Timberlands? Um, I Like I was saying earlier, I don't like anything with a bodysuit that's not a thigh high or a pump because it cuts her leg off. Um, these giving this Barbie. wig very, very Barbie. Barbie. Um, this wig, I don't mind it as much as y'all don't like it. Um, I but I'm not the biggest fan of like this curly swirly whirly with then it's just flat, not flat, it's not completely flat, but with just not anything like it's not bumped up, it's not in pigtails. There's nothing special about the back of the hair compared to the front. It's it's mm -hmm. not, it is styled. I'll get it is styled. It's curled. I wish yeah, it's it was kind of curled. I wish it was teased more. I will say the mug though, absolutely impeccable. This is my favorite yeah. mug out of any of them in terms of a drag mug, um, because of how well it's blended. The cut crease is beautiful. I would have brought the um, front of the brow slightly lower, but that's literally like the tiniest little critique. It's very, um, it's very much a polished drag mug, very akin to somebody like Morphine. Or if you know her on Instagram, Mugs by Chris, very much that kind of mug. And that is my favorite kind of mug because that's the kind of mug I do. Um, so yeah, we'll work Vanity Bane in terms of the mug outfit. Not my favorite. Can I be mean for a little more? Because I, I don't get to be mean very please. often. Yeah, that's please fine. Ahead. Yeah. <laughs> this is your chance to be her, mean. Her wig, her wig looks like a child drew on it with a marker. You're so real for that. You're so real for that. With a big <laughs> pen? Yeah. Also, I need to say this also. Uh, what bothers me is that the shoes are not the same shade of yellow as her hair, and that bothers me. That's that's what I, I was going to say that. I was going to say that, but I, I'm like, I'm being too mean. Never yeah. mind. No, the more you, that you guys talk about it, the less I like it, even more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so here, here's what I'll go ahead and say. Um, get ready, Dawn, because Vanity is very muggy. It's getting very, very muggy up in here. Her mug, she also does a lot of different things with her makeup, too. So she is very versatile in that way. This is her more standard mug, uh, which has actually evolved since her first season, um, which I'm very excited to see. The look is my least favorite look of the, of the promo. And in the way that uh, with Queen Kong, I was looking at everything but the bodysuit. This, I'm only looking at the bodysuit. Well, what else um, is there the to look at? Well, what? there's fringe, and there's a wig, and there's shoes. And I don't want to <laughs> those necessarily shoes. look at those things. Um, Vanity is, and I will, I'm going to bring up another shady moment, and uh, Vanity is a lovely person. I'm happy she's here. I hope, uh, her and Tessa are the two that I'm like, I hope they get a little bit of, re of a redemption. Because a lot of people have done a lot of clowning over Miss Vanity Vane. And I will be 100% honest in saying, Vanity would not have been my first choice whatsoever. My first choice would have been Fontana, which would have oh, been, yeah. no, it would have been Love Fontana, Fontana because we would have had another Brazilian on this cast and it would have been phenomenal. But I think Vanity is very talented. There has been a major glow up for Vanity since her season. And I am very excited to see what she does on this cast. So, mm. per. Uh, scores for Vanity, do I dare ask? Well, so RuPaul is, is judging her. First. <laughs> I know that's <laughs> a Santana Sack Machine joke, but RuPaul is judging her. Insert Santana a little Jeopardy great. music while we wait for Eduardo to score. I don't want to be mean. I'm just going to put... Was. I'm going to just put this oh, here Rob, for all of us. Robbie's got that for you, girl. Yeah, I got you. No, I, I, you I don't need you, Don. Okay. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll do a... Uh, I can be the mean one. Don't ever see me again. A 50. 50? Oh, you're generous. 30. 
Yeah, I didn't want to be mean. So yeah, I'll give it a 45. Oh, I'm going to be mean. Oh, I bleed the that's, fair. Oh, that's honestly You know what? Fair. You know when you got confused? Actually, you know when you got confused and you thought I said 16? I changed my score. Oh. Yeah, no, this is like, you know when like they had like Scoot for a little bit, like Toot Boot and Scoot? Like this is our Scoot. Um, And the reason I say that is just because it's an AliExpress bodysuit that she Yeah, now that I know that, I like it even less. Yeah. Like, and that's, yeah. and again, no shade to her. I'm sure she's great. I'm sure she's yeah. a great drag queen. She made it to the finale for a reason. Mm-hmm. But yes. I'm going to give her a 69. Because nice. I am How nice. nice. Thank that you. someone is. Generous. One of us has to be. <laughs> it's usually me, so it's fine. But that is that, our discussion of our queens. Now, divas, it's time to draft. See, now so, when, when it gets real. Yeah, now we're going to yeah. start fighting. Uh, all and I'm going to ask, all I'm going to ask, please let me have my friend. Thank you. Um, before we start, that's all I'm going to ask of you. Um, so here's how this I is going to work. There are, it's very clear. Yeah, if, everybody who was yapping about their person is going to get that person. I yeah. hope. I, I was going to so. say, if somebody so. picks Miranda, I'll see you outside. I don't think you're going to need to uh, worry about that river. And here's why, because this is how the draft is going to work. Uh, there, Because there are 12 queens and because there are five of us drafting, each of us is going to get three draft picks uh, for this season's draft, which means that three of the queens will be able to be drafted twice. Um, I went ahead and randomized the draft order prior to this podcast recording. Um, and I have those results. Um, the draft order is going to be Eduardo, River, Dawn, Robbie, and then myself. So, I don't even need to ask about the first two picks. Dawn, who are you picking? Um. Well, okay, let me go ahead. Eduardo is choosing Galavado. River is choosing Miranda. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Dawn. <laughs> Give me Nelenia. Okay. Robbie. Alyssa. I'm playing it. Smart. I'm playing for money. Smart <laughs> choice. Um, obviously, I'm taking Tessa. Uh, mm-hmm. Thank you all very much. Um, now with my second pick. And this is my last pick because I'm going to get whoever's left over. Oh, oh no, I'm between two. Ah, oh, fuck. I didn't think this through. Queen. Damn it. Okay. She is still eligible to be drafted again. Mm-hmm. So it is back to Robbie. And me? Oh. We do uh, a snake draft system, so it is your pick, yes. Yeah. Everyone the, is still on the board. I know the three that I want, but Queen Kong was my other choice. So no, nobody can pick twice now, right? Uh, no, that's not true. The only Queen, person Queen currently Kong. completely off the board is Queen Kong. Yeah, you can pick everyone else. Other than Nehalenia, you can pick anyone yeah. else. Other than oh, Kong. I have to pick someone else. No, 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 no. Your pick is fine. Queen, are, are you locking in Queen Kong? Yes. Done. Okay. That's good. It, gotcha. It's me, right? Mm, it's, no, it's Dawn. Not. No, it's Dawn. Oh, right. Um, I'm in a good spot. I'm like right in the middle. Um, mm-hmm. Hmm. That's a testicle. Which we so also never got to talk about. Either, that. Right? She's, I, mean, she's I gone, really right? hope. I really Tessa's hope that gone. thing is true <laughs> about, about Alyssa saying, like, like reacting to Tessa's name. I hope that's a thing. Oh, River. <laughs> okay, I was going to pick Tessa. Um, I'm going to go with Pythia. I was actually 
also gonna pick Pythia. You can. And I will. Mm-hmm. And All right. It's not my turn. Hold to on. Hold, hold on. I gotta do some crossing off of people. Hold on. Give me a moment. I know who I want. Okay. I want Eva La Queen. Great choice. All right, River, it is back to you. Your choices are Athena, Leaky, Kitty Scott Claus, Soa de Muse, and Vanity Vane. Uh, Kitty. That's the other person I was going back and forth between, so I think that's a smart pick. Yeah, I wanted Eva, but since she's not available anymore, I'll, I'll take Kitty. I was so um, ready. I was so ready. Um, hmm. Give me, you said Soa, Vanity, uh, Athena, and Athena. Athena, Soa, and Vanity. You know what? Since I read her down so hard, give me Vanity Vane. All right. Choices. Robbie, Soa to Muse or Athena Leakies? You know my choice. I know your choice. You know my choice. I am very thrilled with my choice. I got I my make. three. You, you got you <laughs> Soa, right? Yes. I got what did you pick, Logan? I have no choice. I'm left with Athena. Right. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I'm I got, happy. Which I, 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 which I am very happy about, I will go ahead and say. So we've got Team Eduardo, Galavado, Pathia, and Eva the Queen. Team River, Miranda Lebrao, Pathia, and Kitty Scott Claus. Team Dawn, Millennia, Tessa Testicle, and Vanity Vane. Team Robbie, Alyssa Edwards, who I am gagged was only drafted once. I got to be honest with you all. Um, I didn't get Alyssa to Edwards, it. You had a shot. Well, I had other priorities, okay? Anyway, <laughs> Alyssa Edwards, Queen Kong, and Swat Amuse. Team Logan, Tessa Tesco, Queen Kong, and Athena Leakies. So, with that being said, we're going to get out of here because we've been here for almost two and a half hours. Uh, trust me, Robbie, podcasts typically don't take this long for us. Sometimes they do, but not always. But <laughs> Usually for premieres being, and these, yeah. Premieres and cast assessments, yes. But, Robbie, thank you so much for joining us for this video. You are welcome back anytime to talk about anything Drag Race, and we would love to have you literally anytime. So, thank you for joining. Make sure to check out Robbie's YouTube channel down below, as well as Robbie everywhere on socials. All of his links will be down in the description below. You can also find all of our links down in the description below for our audio podcast, our YouTube channels, our Patreon for exclusive content and early access, as well as our socials at The Cup Pod on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, of which there will be several moments from this video, um, as well as all of our individual socials and the link to get your merch, including but not limited to Cup Mug. We're going to get out of here. Cheers. 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 Drag is all over the world. Copyright. Copyright. Follow Robbie. Oh, not this. It is a phenomenon. No, 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 no. I forgot about copyright. We're still recording. We're still recording. We're still recording. I know. Uh, we're waiting. Because I... Cl-